Okay, and let's begin. Uh, we begin with you, um... Your name's not on there, so I forgot it. Uh, Udafar. We're gonna begin with Udafar, who, um, is still in the cavern, or rather the cave that was once held by the, uh, by the Blinking Ravens. Um, now, uh, what happened was, uh, it, as you may have recalled, it was a incredibly cold day that day, and I'm afraid, um, I warned you about the exposure to the elements, and, uh, you guys did not heed me, and, uh, as a result, um, oh, what are your, what are your real, what are your characters' names again? Uh, all, Udafire, um, Nick's character, which is named, uh, Neil. Norian, is, Norian is the name of the other character, and of course, um, the mage that nobody likes. Um, you all caught, um, a certain, uh, illness known as, what is it called? The colds? That's not it. The colds? Yeah. <laughs> um, I forget what it's called. Um, somebody help me out here. Pneumonia, yeah, you guys caught pneumonia, and, um, that's when a owl bear broke in while you guys were resting. Um, only the Steel Cleric and the Paladin, who's immune to illness, was able to, uh, to fight, to basically fight it off. Um, as they ran outside, they heard something, or rather they saw something massive, um, grab it and fly away. Um, grab the giant thing. Um, you, um, you stayed, get your rest. Uh, unfortunately, the other two were not able to, you know, get back up to full health. Um, and it's been a while and the guys haven't returned. Uh, so we're assuming that you should go after them. Or you're assuming you should go after them. Um, yeah. So, or rather, the, the other two in the group were the same way. Yeah, I guess I'll leave these to uh, sick vagabonds here. Somebody um, said vagabonds. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a new, that's new insult. <laughs> that's a new one. <laughs> vagabonds. Yeah, I guess I will... Did I see which direction the uh, thing that got carried off by the... You did not that's... see it. Um, they described it. Uh, they said they were going south. Or down the mountain. And how many days passed since they left? I think it was one. Alright, so I guess I will head down the mountain as well. Um, how's the weather? Uh, the weather is a bit foggy. Uh, not that... that cold. Not cold, not as cold as, you know, it could, has been before. But, um, it's, uh, it's more foggy. More like your vision's being obscured. Alright, so I will head down the mountain. Um, as I'm heading down, I'm gonna be on the lookout for you know, <coughs> Cool, cool. Uh, give me a perception check right now. Alright, um. Perception. Damn it, my keys. Let me just double check this. <coughs> Bless you, whoever sneezed. Work off. No, oh, that's me. I got pneumonia. Oh. <laughs> Perception yeah. is really bad, huh? wisdom. Wisdom. Right? Yep. All right. I want to say let's go with six. Proficiency bonus at level seven is plus three. So yeah, a plus six. Sweet. Uh, ho ho. Okay. Um. So as you're um, as you're about to uh, as you're leaving the mountain or rather leaving the area, um, you notice in the fog, um, something approaching. Uh, you only see the shadow at first, um, and as you look, you see it appears to, uh, you hear it coming like a clip-clop, clip-clop, as if it's feet are hooved. You, uh, you look towards the shadowed being, and you can see it's, it's pretty large, it seems to have horns around its waist, and, uh, it's standing tall, and it's got these kind of scaly lizard like face. Oh. Let's do a would it be a nature check to try to figure out what it is? Um yep. But uh, you can only see shadows of it at the moment. Okay. I 
So I will first try to get closer to it. Cool. Uh, you approach and you see that it is uh, it's not one creature, but two. It appears to be a kobold on the back of Ragnar's mount. Okay, so... As you come closer, that yelps. Shock, you there? You answering? Did he get cut off or something? Uh, he, he has issues with his thing, yeah, he's gone. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> Making this oh, shaw heavy was probably a bad idea. <laughs> well, that's true in general. Maybe he just put himself on mute and just hasn't realized. No, it's the no, three dots, I, so it's I, like can, I can see, yeah. 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 I only just lost the thing now. Dang it. And suddenly the Nomia of Nomia comes back and pushes. Right, sorry, <laughs> yeah, I dropped the moment you said as you get closer. Um, as you get closer, you see there's not one beast, but two. It appears to be a um a uh a kobold that is uh wearing a uh Iron Climbers or Champions Guild Tavard. And uh, he is riding on a familiar mount. It appears to be uh, Ragnar's Polarius. He's gone again. <laughs> that is... <sighs> it's, it's classic shot, I'll tell you that much. I, all I know is he's gay. Gay, gay, gay. Oh, uh, I mean... <laughs> hey, buddy. Yeah. Um, how much of that did you get? Uh, and a cobalt on the... with an iron helmet. No, okay. <laughs> uh, it's not a cobalt with an iron helmet. It's with a cobalt who is wearing the Champions Guild, uh, Tabard. Uh, he appears to be, uh, standing on top of, or rather, standing, sitting, that kind of motion, on top of the... to relay it in chat. <laughs> but seriously like though, he's not even worth it. Oh, there he is. <laughs> and I know you know, if you are doing this on purpose, I'd kill you, but um Skype is doing it. Yeah, I know. It doesn't like the idea of a cobalt with a champion guild something. I, I know I, I know I'm uh, too charismatic for you to leave mid sentence, so <laughs> I'm out. Maybe I should try to say this faster. Uh, is wearing a champion skill to Tabard and is riding Ragnar's mount. Uh, it okay. looks at you with these big bug eyes. So I will put my hand to my side on my short sword, apparently, that I have. If you have it, then you have it. I don't know. Yeah, I do. I was just checking. I thought I had a scimitar. Ah. <sighs> I stole it. <laughs> I said it on purpose that time. So I try to speak common to this creature, and I say, who are you? I, I let out a yelp and just kind of hail him with, his, with a hand. You what? I yelp. As John always has them yelp. I'm not that good with it. You? Um, and just hail you. Alright, so I'll say the words again. Well, no, I'd say, uh, do you speak common to whatever this thing is? Uh, again, another yelp, but then no nods to the side, as in no. Alright, so... <clears throat> so again, I will, walk, I will walk towards the cobalt. My short sword still, my hand on the hilt of it. Uh, with that, he kind of turns around and... Kind of, he gestures for the ram to move forward a bit, and the ram is slowly moving toward, uh, well, away from the caves. But it's, it's very slow, so you can easily keep up with him.
So I'm going to try saying something again. I say, answer me, Cobalt. Who are you? Are you uh, uh, with... Yeah. So obviously this thing understands me. Okay. So I will take out my short bow and follow this thing from a distance. Cool. Uh, eventually he leads you down the mountain. Uh, about to here. And uh, he starts going this way, down the path to the old tower. Now, have you ever been to the old tower before? Nope, I know nothing about the old tower, so... Cool. Um, yeah, so uh, you approach this kind of uh, rocky, craggy path. Um, it seems to be one of the... I want to say it's like a mountain path, or rather it's it's mostly um, a kind of a... How do I put this? Um, it's, it's, it's a cliff path. Um, it's right right beside the on uh, both your yeah. the path is sandwiched on one end it's a you know a jagged rock cliff on the other it's you know straight down jagged rock cliff so all you have is path to which as you climb down um and as you're going down uh every now and then the the creature yelps and um you can see a couple of little kobolds jump out and kind of yelp back um as if they were defensive positions and uh, they continue on and kind of um, go down to this old tower you can see kind of in the distance. Um, eventually, they lead to a uh, what do you call it? Uh, they lead to kind of a precipice or kind of like a, a hill looking over a wider area. We can see a tower that appears to be ruined, but uh, you can see that there are large walls. There's a massive hole in the wall surrounding. Uh, the whole place is just covered in snow, as you might imagine. And uh, you can see that the, the fires and, of a camp below, uh, where you can see just tons of kobolds, uh, probably over a hundred or so, all standing below. That's a lot of kobolds. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. He continues on this path, and um, eventually he enters into a... Uh, he gets off the horse and he enters into a small, uh, what? Not small, it's small for you, but it seems to be large compared to And he's gone. Short hand of the cobalt. Soon we will be at a place where him <laughs> dropping doesn't matter. <laughs> Soon. But until then, he'll lengthen. But, but yeah, I mean, I, mean, he's, he, I, I really hate those people, you know what I mean? Oh, All right, I'm sorry, so I cut off for a second. So I will <laughs> just continue to follow the ram. Cool. Um, as you're following... Guys, guys. Hey, what's I, up? I, I, ah! Huh? Great, yeah, is too complicated. I, I can't, I'm panicking! I'm panicking! Um, okay, how about this? Just go barbarian or something simple. <laughs> uh, but I, yeah. I, I want War to go with the thingy. Okay, warlocks are hard to make. I know. I yeah. attest to that, yes. <laughs> okay, let, let me rephrase that. Warlocks are hard for noobs to make. So. Right. Oh, thanks. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> no, no, they're, they're, they're a hard class. Um, yeah. But, uh, but just go fighter or something, something that's simple. What do we have in the party, by the way? I have no idea what you guys are playing. Ah, uh, we have a paladin. We have a not a priest, but a cleric. As well, you have a ranger, a and a rogue. Hmm. It's the classic quadruple threat. Right. Um, so then you're but quadruple threat to ourselves, not anyone else. True. Right. This is true. You know what? I, I, I'm going to completely player. ignore you guys and continue to work on the Warlock. I, I'm actually enjoying it, this class. I believe me. So I, I'll Sounds see you great. guys in like a few minutes. When you inevitably fail again, call me. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, you get eyed up pretty up and down as you're walking up, uh, walking through this place. Um, I'm assuming you, you're walking through the camp itself. Um, I'm just like trailing behind whatever path the ram is taking. Yeah. Because yeah. I do not he, know this he, area. He trails a path right through, and you can see the uh, you can see the tower walls just a, a little bit distance ahead. Um, and as you approach uh, the tent, um, you can see this kind of uh, this kind of massive uh, 
massive creature stands kind of behind you. Or rather, you can feel this kind of shadow. You think it dropped behind you. Um, but uh, you can't be surprised, so you knew it was there. Uh, when you turn around, um, you see it is a massive, uh, massive kobold, uh, the size of an ogre, with these gigantic wings. Oh my god. OMG. Yeah, I uh, was trying to make distance from it because I remember the last time we were up against a giant foe. It kind of, uh, it kind of, it kind of uh, gauges your size and sniffs you. It's not a big fan yet. Uh, and I've been told to look at a picture. This bring up you more penises. Yeah, that's a good picture. That that's that's very similar to what the bubble looks like. Um, yeah, so I'll put an iron climb for everybody. Yeah, look at that picture. Uh, now he's gone again. Very soon we'll all be together. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I uh, saw so what it looks like. That is not as bad as I thought. Not as bad you thought it was rough. <laughs> That's pretty bad. Yeah. Okay, um. So you um. Eventually, it uh, it leads inside of a tent, and I'm assuming you follow through. Um, um, as I'll oh, go ahead. No, yeah, I follow no. through. Um, as you're entering, you can hear familiar voices of the Steel Cleric and Ragnar. And so I said, "Healer, I didn't even know her." Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> you, you dog. With the, I, I, I make that sound by tapping my chest. Dum -dum -dum -dum. Terrible. <laughs> so what's with the cobalt uh, guide? Uh, what's he doing right now? No, uh, I just say that to the guys. Cool. Oh, hey oh. man. Um, nice to see you. Where, where, where are the other guys? They're uh, currently fighting for their lives. And you just left them? It's pneumonia. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing I can do except <laughs> you're the again. worst, Ragnar. <laughs> no. um, as you look around, this place is this place is very well furnished. Um, you can uh, you can see that uh, your friends um, Ragnar and Steel Cleric, uh, or rather Ragnar only, uh, he has some marks on his skin where it seems like rope was tied tightly around his, uh, his wrists. Um, it's kind of like you know rope burns. Um, you can see that uh, across a very low table. Um, that has, is strewn with uh, maps and uh, various tiny figures. Uh, you can see that there is a kobold which seems to have just a, a massive, massive hunch underneath a very large uh, cloak. Uh, he kind of turns to you. You can you can see uh, his face as uh, of course very draconic. Um, it seems to be very old and weathered. Uh, you can see uh, he has a scar across one of his eyes, and that's caused that eye to go uh, to go blank, or rather, there's no um, it's just all white. There's no iris or anything. I say, oh, hey, Udofar, this is Talak. Talak, this is uh, our comrade Udofar. Um, seems like uh, he didn't kill the uh, the messenger that we sent, and and so it's all good. The other two um, seems like uh, they've uh, come down with some sort of sickness. Hopefully they'll uh, they'll come back soon, but we don't really know. Mm. Um, the three, yeah. of, the, just the three of you then. Well, uh, seems like it. I, I I doubt you could storm the uh, the tower now. Mm. Well, why you storm uh, the tower? You could always try. Uh, with them asking that, I'd just kind of pull up another chair if there's something, or offer the seat I was sitting at, and I would just kind of say that uh, the the Goblin Mage, um, well, what used to be the Goblin Mage, he's kind of stuck in the tower. What are you talking oh, about? No, I'm master. talking about the tower. Yeah. No, you're talking about the master, then. Yeah, sorry. Uh, he is stuck in the tower, and, well, we were kind of... Given the 
opportunity to charge in there and clear it out. By give them the opportunity, you mean uh, do all the dirty work? Yeah, but I want to say that out loud. But yeah. As long More as it uh, gives us a chance to get back at the master, I'm down for it. Yeah, I know, that's what I said. Enemy of my enemies, my friend, right? Now, as we've agreed, the orb is mine, says Tom. Look, we could argue about the orb later, but let's go and uh, get this guy first, and then we should... Uh, what do you the, uh, for He doesn't want to say. That's uh, my business. Right. Yep. And uh, it's one of the reasons why uh, Ragnar over here has got rope burns. Also, uh, he broke his leg. Yeah, that, that too. <laughs> that too. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I, he, he kind of looks left and right and says, um, you require more. To this group, um, he kind of he kind of goes over to the goblin who uh, still sitting on top of uh, Ragnar's mount. Uh, he kind of whispers into his ear, and he, kind of, and he jumps and runs off into the distance, or outside the tent. Oh, where is he going now? Okay, looks like uh, we're gonna go get some more people. <laughs> um, yep. Right. Uh, uh, any so, questions you want to ask him? Um, so I can I can I uh, tell Udofar kind of basically what the yeah. uh, this this old town and, and while you do that, I'll use the water closet. Yay! Um, so basically, the old tower. Um, I was here with Norian and uh, and uh, the cameras. Funnily enough, they're away, but. Uh, we were here like much much earlier in our journey and uh, there's technically one singular way to get in and that's through the draw bridge um, which is on the uh, like on the northwest north no sorry northeast side um, is this the place where Vic got that uh, exploding toy I I think so yep I think so um but then there's also there's also a map basically it's just like rather than a moat it's a massive cliff around and so there's a big hole um, in, in, in the, uh, the south wall um, where we can kind of like if we could jump over the cliff or something or bridge over it we can uh, we can get through it I think they've How got far is They've got dragons, these kobolds. Um, so I'm 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 hoping they could give us a lift over the cliff. They have dragons. Yeah, they got dragons. They uh, they actually serve a green dragon. So like dragon dragons or like wyverns or something. Like dragon dragons. Um. So yeah. So they serve a green dragon. Obviously, we're fighting against the dragon below, which is a blue dragon, I think, uh, and uh, I was made by red dragon, so we've just got this whole gamut of colorful, colorful dragons that, you know. And you guys are complaining about a lack of dragons. I know. It's, like, it's, it's, it's more like dragons and dragons than dungeons. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, yeah, that was weird. Um, but yeah, uh, basically... Uh, we can try and get a lift, and, and you know, obviously cross in without having to go through the the draw bridge at all. That way, I don't know. Uh, that way, there's a there's a slight surprise element to it. There's, there's no underground entrance or anything like that. We tried last time and it didn't really work. There was one, so it's usually the one or two. Um, I, I don't remember, I don't think uh, uh, Talak has uh, informed us of the forces that are inside 
I think he's got some people in there, but I don't think he's got a lot. I uh, he's got um Talek would say. Uh he's got plenty of uh goblins, at least uh two scores, and uh more zombies. Goblins or kobolds? Goblins. 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 See we obviously these guys are kobolds, so I don't um it'll be hard pressed to find some defective now, uh, goblin. He, he's, Tag's going to say again that um, the main reason he doesn't want to go in there with his men is because um, the master ta ha has been known to be a, a magician and uh, kobolds are known to be weak to area of effect so he doesn't want to risk losing half his men because of one wily wizard. I know the feeling. Yep. Uh, which is, which is why he's much more interested in sending a small crack team than uh, with a whole platoon. Yeah, so I'd probably say, um, yeah, if we can get our small, like, you know, our small team in there, hopefully go around the back. It's at this time that you're interrupted by the gulp, by the cobalt returning in with uh, two other cobalts, a kind of a a, a normal sized cobalt dressed in leather and seems to be very shady, uh, as well as a larger ogre drake walks in. Um, Talek uh, introduces these as your uh, the members who would join your party. Oh, okay, cool. Um, do they have names? Um, do uh, you guys want to introduce yourselves? <coughs> Greetings, friends. Me, Muck Muck. Don't they talk? <laughs> uh, uh, T uh, Talek says these these ones no common. Oh, sweet. We should teach that guy over there to speak common. No point. He's he's very young. It'll take time. Okay. And who are you, big guy? Talking to you, F. 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 <laughs> okay. What <laughs> Babin, are you there? Yeah, sorry, I'm here. Babin, not <laughs> Adam. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fabio. Warlock man. Oh, yeah. He he. Is he, 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 he the one who said man? He's concentrating too hard on making a character. <laughs> See, John, and you were worried that we wouldn't have someone gone. <laughs> Terrible. Oh wait, I'm here. Anyway, I heard yeah, you guys no, talk about okay. me. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Wait, uh, what, what? What's the deal? Um, I, I told you guys I'm ignoring you guys. Okay. Well, you walked into the dang thing, right? I, I, uh, what? Which we call um, uh, a a kobold went and fetched <laughs> you and uh, and muck muck in order to introduce you to the rest of the group. Ah, I see. Well, uh, <laughs> I don't have a character yet. Not okay, we'll just so, make uh, up a name and do it. I, I have half a mind of just uh, spontaneously combusting and ju then just leave it at that. Oh. So no, seriously, I, I kind of just blow up. And then the uh, the next incarnation of myself is going to show up at a later date. AKA I'm I'm panicking, really hard right now. So he introduces himself as Afafaf, which is now canon. <laughs> 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 well, to be honest, Sorry. I was focusing on the more mechanical aspects, like okay. you know ability scores and stuff like that. Maybe you should have went a fighter like I told you. Anyways, <laughs> uh... you told me to go a warlock. I said Warlock would be good if you knew what you were doing. Okay, um... Where is so he yeah. Hold on. So what are you guys doing? Mm. Oh, um, so, um... So you're gonna have this new group? Yeah, so what I ask, um... Guys, uh... Cause I'm not at full... I am still short a companion. I feel that's an urgent matter for me. That dog was weak. That dog was weak. Yeah, he. You were fighting a troll with a puppy. <laughs> what do you expect? He ate him like a freaking apple. Oh, my chicken. 
Um, uh, I don't know. Uh, Alec, do you have any anything to uh, give my friend Udafi here as a companion? Yeah, like yeah. So before I can go charge in with you guys, I need a companion, and I will will find one as such. It takes like eight hours. <laughs> It takes eight hours to bond with them. I'm just gonna cheat my way and use animal uh, friendship on it right. repeatedly. Did you just get like a giant lizard from our kennels. <laughs> I'll, I'll allow it. Yes, do it. Get a Is that not cute stuff. enough? They are not precious. <laughs> no. Oh, uh, fine. I'm not gonna do the voice the whole time, by the way, because I'll sound stupid. More so. But, um,. But this anyone else? I'm going to restart things. All the songs cut out immediately. Oh, okay. that's, that's the that's the wonder of uh, our team. Get the next <laughs> Okay. Uh, cool. So I forget where we are, but what's uh, happening? I was like, you want to go get a pet? They can, they'll allow you to take one of their uh, little lizards. Um. The uh, yeah. If you can find some sort of salamander in a piece of cherry, I will... Um, let me look for it real quick. Um, mule, uh, owl, poison steak, pseudo dragon, panther, quasset, rat, washer. <laughs> it's a... Uh, I didn't actually mean they wouldn't. Oh. I don't care. Oh, uh, they don't have alligator in this one. You wouldn't get an alligator anywhere. But I mean, it's like the closest thing, except for a constrictor snake. Ah, uh, constrictor snake. There's a, a giant lizard that you could use. <laughs> Wait, there's a giant lizard? Did I... It's in the I monster don't... manual. I don't have the monster manual. Oh my god. I need the no. monster manual. John, uh, What's up? I asked, I asked Talek, um, considering that he's kind of been camping out here, where's the best place for us to to kind of um, go in, or has he sent like any small teams in there? Uh, he's, he's only been observing from above with, uh, with some of his um, overdrakes who, who basically climbed up and looked inside. Um, he's seen some footprints going back and forth, but he hasn't actually seen any activity. Uh, he says if you want to get in there, uh, and they got two towers um, by the gate, as well as they have uh, rebuilt a small bridge. Uh, which he assumes is trapped, uh, so he wouldn't suggest going that way. Um, uh, he would suggest climbing up the back. That's how he would sneak in. Um, of course, you could just kick the door in and see what happens. Um, right. So that being said, uh, does he like in in his like you know uh, numerous maps in the table? Does he have a diagram of the? Uh, of the building? Of the building, hopefully. Yeah, yeah, he, uh, he doesn't have a diagram, no. Yeah, he wouldn't He wouldn't know what it looks like from the inside of it. Oh. oh, no, that's fine, like, as long as we can kind of, like, sort of plan as to... Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, he knows there's one entrance, or there's, there's two entrances to it. Uh, there's the wall, and there's one entrance to the tower itself. Yeah, okay. And of course, there's slits in all the sides. Uh, he's not not seen what's inside now. Mm -hmm. uh, he oh. he will mention though that he saw a green kind of vapor coming out of the uh, one of the one of the doors. Uh, the closer to the it was on the opposite side of the of the gate door. That's where he saw it. It was coming out of the slit. That's opposite side of the gate door. So that's. Was it like, like north, north, east? Uh, side? it would be, it would be the, uh, the west side. We're so good. Um, we're so good. Okay, okay. So I, I could guess that that's probably where the master could be hiding. So, um, if we can, if I can send, uh, yeah. So if we can send like Udo Fire and um, Mak Mak. Uh, you know, around the around that big hole in the wall, 
Let's see if they can scout a way in, or at least sort of like find a, a, a way in that we don't have to fight too many guys. This is, this is, uh, sounds like a plan. Okay. Yeah. No more kill. Yeah. Uh, we will be up for that. Because um, obviously, going through the front door is, uh, you know, the path is taken. Um, technically, in this case, um, you know, I'd, I'd rather not. I mean, we still got those, you know, those scooty bombs. Um, I'd love to use that at least once, but that would probably be later. Um, hmm. Yeah, if, if, yeah, if Udo Fire and, and Muck can kind of like check it out, see how many are, are there, um, maybe have a look through the slits, hopefully there aren't any like archers and stuff that are kind of like you know, on post. Uh, but yeah, I think once we get, once we actually, uh, once, our, once we see the, the tower, the, the old tower, I can, I can hopefully plan better where you can make. Okay. Where you can, where we can like where we, the Drakes can land you or something. Ah, yep. Connection to server has been interrupted for no reason. There you go. That sounds are, awfully good. Are you guys are you guys moving there now? Can you guys are you guys nope. changing screens? Not yet. Still in the map. That makes no sense. Right so, yeah, by the way, are you Udo Fire and uh, Mark Mark, you guys okay to, to, uh, to do that? Okay, I'm going to change the Firefox, and then I'll do that. Yeah, I will be up for that. Mark Mark, don't um, know. Uncle Fire seems very loud. Um, okay, well, uh... I, uh, I officially give up. I, I can't okay. make a character to fly like this. Then just <laughs> freaking make a barbarian then. Yeah, just like fine, man. Just make, like just make a big, big guy that can hit hard. Yeah, done and done. Uh, I, it I, literally I guess. takes ten minutes to make a barbarian. Uh, Swallow your pride. Yeah, like. Healy classes are so much easier. It okay. takes no work. Don't worry about it, buddy. It, 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 okay. Literally, there's no decisions. Just write down which one they get. <laughs> Like uh, high HP, high strength, uh, low in low whiz. There we go. Min okay. max everything. Exactly. Yeah. Just just get no feats, and instead of feats, get plus two to all your strength and constitution. Exactly. Called using a noodle. I'm onto it then. Well, using your noodle without using your noodle. Yeah. Feats are awesome. Uh, feats are awesome. They are generally more powerful than plus two strength. Come on, sign in. Uh, sign um, in. Yeah. Let's go. So, um, yeah, as soon as we get the map, I'll be able to like take you guys to where we can. Yes, <laughs> Charlie, give me a couple of I I love hearing women yell gibberish into a mic. <laughs> it's not gibberish. Thank you. Oh, it, it's gibberish, baby. What the hell is that woman, by the way? That was my mother. Why, thank you. <laughs> Mrs. Rattan. Uh, you got Hi, Mrs. Rattan. I, I just got here, sorry. No. I, I'm not talking anymore. Yeah. Uh, I, I assume you're... Are you Greek? You, are you Greek, Larry? Polish. 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 Oh, I'm so sorry. Thing. It expl thing that thing explains a lot of the bad decisions you've made over the course of this campaign. Though. Oh, thank you. Wow. <laughs> oh, Someone is rather hard today. I love racism so much. <laughs> so does That's this giant lizard have a saddle? Um, not as of yet. Okay. Oh, a lizard with a saddle. That'd be awesome. Uh, there we go. I don't know why Firefox is being so laggy. That's really weird. Seriously, John, I, I I think like browsers just hate you. Yeah, they do now. I don't know why. They used to love me. Am I logged in yet? Can you guys see me? Ugh. <laughs> so everything's gonna be theater of the mind from this point onward. 
What was that? Oh god. Yeah, exactly. Not which is which is terrible. It's like created all this info. Like I made maps and junk. I don't wanna I don't wanna do that. Ever give a DM too long distance? No, uh, that's yeah, actually that's true. Um <laughs> It's now loading. Hypothetically, it will load. Hypothetically. Hypothetically. Um, Alright, so why it loads, John, just tell me if this would be a alright picture. Okay, no, that now, looks like a dragon. Now, what's, what's the CR rating of your pet? Uh, one and a half. Oh, okay. one that's, less that's, than that. that's fun. Yeah, it's nothing broken. Uh, it's just let's like see this picture. Raft animal. Better not just be a giant wiener. It might be. Yeah. Oh, that'll be. It's a little too badass. Yeah. yeah right. uh, <laughs> it's, it's too bad as for Udo Fire. And yeah, spe cuter. especially Udo Fire, yeah. You know. I, mean, I, I, I would prefer like, penis for Udo Fire, you know. It's, it's a giant That's death. pretty good. Let's see. Oh, I clicked on the ad and now that's going to cause issues. <laughs> <laughs> Another 15 minutes of waiting? Exactly. There we go. Loading. 15 seconds. 13 seconds. Um, goes by twos for some reason. Alright, um, so I'm using the second one. Mm -hmm. Let me make the token while you oh. take forever to load. Yeah. Uh, uh. Okay. This not responding. Am I, am I, no, am I, am I in? I don't. <laughs> okay. Now let's see if I can drag you guys to the map you're supposed to be at. And they want to be dragged. Uh -huh. <laughs> wow, it's been forever since I made a token. Uh, there we go. Huzzah. Okay, now you guys are going to the Tower of Zen. Oh, I've got too many freaking mounts. <laughs> there we go. Okay, now hopefully things will load for this. Uh, did you guys change maps? Yep. Yes, we did. Do you see things? That's yes. Important. Yes. Uh, yeah, we, yes do. we do. Okay, good. Oh, man. I am not in that position. I see nothing. <laughs> um, but luckily, I've memorized everything, so... Uh, Let's just put your characters on there. Um, you can see here, we got Dedrick, who doesn't play anymore. Lizard, who I assume is that guy. Uh, so we have Muck Muck, Steel Cleric, Ragnar, uh, Udo Fire, uh, Lagging. <laughs> oh, and I've for some reason disconnected from the Paul Crest journey. Let's get stalled. It's token. Any suggestions for the name of the lizard? Oh, um... Lizard. Quizgar. The Flatchel. Smithers. Gecko! <laughs> Gecko. Um, okay. Well, let's just go ahead and do this. Um, you guys can clearly see uh, a large open kind of uh, hole. You can see a gate round back. This whole place appears to be on a peninsula. Yeah. Um, of course, and there's that large gap between you and it. Uh, what do you guys want to do? How would you like okay. to approach? Um, Alright, I'm gonna say... Alright, so there's the, the two... The archers sort of like... Holes there. Um, there's four. Where I'm thinking now. Um, if we can somewhat... See if any anything fires out from them. We can try and figure out where we can uh, approach. Hopefully, obviously, there's this door here, um, which will just inevitably lead to our death. Ooh, inevitably, the best. Inevitably. Yeah. <laughs> inevitable. Inevitable. No, we're we're supposed to, to get across. We don't have wings. Uh, uh, <laughs> do you think we can we can rent? We can, we can rent one of the uh, the dragons. Yeah, they'll we'll never see like... it coming. 
Uh, by rent one for dragons. Who exactly are you referring to? I don't know. Like, the, what about the the, the the dragons that would pick up the kobolds from the mountains? He uh, has much more important matters. You want you want to get let a dragon hold you in claws? <laughs> well, I was I was gonna say like just like chopper lift us there we down go. into here, kind of like the eighteen. Opera's finally working for some unknown reason. <laughs> I'm assuming it's a glitch. It's a glitch that made it work. Unless, unless we can get um, Ragnar's ram to like let us climb down and then climb back up here. Um, How big of a jump is it? Um, as you can clearly see if you measure, it should be what five, ten, fifteen, twenty feet jump. Or do you mean uh, down? Down. Down is like forty feet. Land on the snowman. Yeah, the snow should cover at least ten feet of the fall. Is, is this a bridge just fallen to the one side, or? Um, uh, no. It, it appears to be uh, relatively new, just poorly constructed. Okay. I was about to say that does not look very new to me. It's new, just poorly constructed. Yeah. <laughs> it's crappy new. Um. <laughs> the okay. French. Yeah. Uh. Well, it seems like obviously they're gonna they're gonna be using this big hole as a as a main entrance. Obviously, this will be trapped. Um, there's no other way to getting in. Um, uh, Is that what they want I, you to think? Yeah, I know, right? Mm. Uh, note that the walls, there probably, the walls there are probably the walls there probably only about what uh, thirty feet high. Uh, oh, so flat one. Flat stone, though. Mm. So someone can get across and then uh, rope our way up. Potentially. Yeah. Um, so. I, oh, sorry. Who yeah, has I mean, the best strength? I can cast a jump to get you to the other side. Yeah. Just throw, throw, muck, muck. <laughs> <laughs> muck, muck, no like. <laughs> Well, what's it called? I do have one question, if you don't mind. Um, over here, uh, the broken piece of wall, does it is it like a sheared off, or is it like a gradual uh, ruin of it? Um, this one right here? This broken piece of wall? The one that's like right in front of the bridge. Oh, uh, it, look, oh uh, it looks like a... not a cannonball, but it looks like it was destroyed by a well-placed um, uh, piece of rock. I guess somebody, somebody tried to destroy it. Okay, so it's like basically a steep drop, so there's no way of climbing up that. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay, that's what I was wondering. Hmm. There we go. Maybe the song will work now. Are our characters on the map, or? Um, your characters aren't on the map. I keep. No. It keeps disconnecting yeah. me from the server for some reason every time I want to do that. Uh, let's see here. We have Muck Muck. Roll 20 has frozen for me as well. Yeah. I don't know what happened to Roll 20. You so have to find a new system. Uh, so, yeah, so, so. My token for the lizard, by the way. Yep. Oh, you want me to put it down too? Yes, please. Yeah, I'd, I'd say if we can if we can get Ragnar to. Uh, how long does your. Would your ram climb up like 40 feet up and down? Clip. 40 feet uh, doesn't take that long for the run, does it, John? Not too long, no. Um, but it, would be, it might be noisy if he's running up and down. Only we had a lizard that knew how to climb things. It actually does. Yeah, but it's very cold. Uh, you said it's what? It's very cold here, though. It doesn't like the climate. Yeah. Oh. Fair enough. Oh, mm. is the music going to reach that now? Hmm, try. Um, what, John, what would be the effects on my ram's climbing speed and capabilities if we cast Enlarge on it? Uh, it would be tremendously... I guess it would be increased, but the pause would be decreased, so it would be a little bit harder. Okay. Just wondering. <laughs> um, so it's how fast it goes up would increase, but how difficult it is to go up would also increase. Okay, so overall not really worth it. 
we could just try the bridge and hope that there's no archers on that side. That's classic, wow. classic cobalt tactic. <laughs> <laughs> well, the reason I'm not trusting the bridge is I don't trust the construction. I, I, I'm, I'm a dwarf. I can't wheel along. <laughs> it's not made by dwarfs. It's not good enough. Um, <laughs> Whoa, yeah, well, if if you guys want, you can like, you know, get the. <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah, like I said, chuck the kobold over, and then. Didn't you guys just you know jump down and climb it up last time? Yeah, we did, but it took us ages. And back then, oh. there wasn't like, there wasn't that many people inside. Well, I could cast fog cloud to cover us. You could, yeah, that would be alright. Um, well, yeah, well, whatever could, would, uh, would make this, uh, siege, or whatever it is, easier. Let's do it. Yeah, well, let's, let, let's make, uh, let's make well, moves. How? What move? <laughs> oh, right. there we go. The heck? There we are. All right. Um, I'm lagging sort of. Yeah. So what's the plan, guys? Huh? Okay, um. so the plan is we we cast fog and uh we try to. So how long did you say the fog lasts for? Let me double check that. I feel like it's at least 10 minutes until that it's dispersed. Yeah, it doesn't. It lasts for a pretty long time. Let me just get the exact amount. We should, would be able to cross without a problem. Yeah, concentration up to an hour. Oh, so, oh, yeah. cool. so you just cast that and then climb up home. Yeah, I'd say cast that. Get all the light people to cross the bridge. Um, fix the rope. Um, on one of the posts, and then get the rest of the guys to, you know, go through the rope. And then obviously have, maybe Ragnar be the last one. Yeah. And have, have him, like, you know, goat himself up. Yeah. Um, at least, so, like, if we have the light people go through, so Udo, Udo and... Not well then, not. if we were going to be doing that, then I might as well start my track so I don't we don't take more time than needed. Yeah, because then he can yeah. just pull us up. Yeah, that's true. Okay, we'll do that then. Yeah. So I don't that so cast fog cloud to get all the light people across and then um, how would we fix the bridge though? Um. Well, the bridge is pretty much there, but it's just you know not well made, so. Uh, if I guess if the lighter people go through, there's there's less chances of them. Um, well, obviously disturbing the bridge and making it worse. What we could do is us two light people could get across, fine, and then we could pull you up so it doesn't break. Like if you jump down and we pull you back up. I got um, two. All right, so I didn't yeah. hear what you said, but I'm trusting you, so I'm gonna cast <laughs> fault. Okay, so uh, put Sha into the catapult and you can fire him whenever you're ready. <laughs> yeah. Yep, yeah, totally. Let's do it. Cool. So what are we doing? Uh, cast, uh, get, get Sha to cast forge. How big is it? Uh, 20 foot radius. Oh, sweet. Cool. <laughs> uh, so you guys create a fog cloud. It is now, um, making it very difficult to see. Right around here. Alright. All right. Sneak across. You go first. Yeah, keep your boots here. Exactly. It's gonna mess things up. So. Give me a uh, balance check, or a also known as a dexterity saving throw. Acrobatics or no? Acrobatics is good, yeah. Give me acrobatics. Uh, pretty much the same. Yep. Cool. Yeah, you get across easily. Uh, a little bit of looking around should make you be able to see this. Alright, so what do you guys want me to do over here now? Well, Muck Muck's gonna follow suit. 
and I'm assuming I need to make a save or a check as well. Yep. During this time, I'd just be going riding my ram down the side and then up the other side. Cool. Let me do so easily. <coughs> well, we we're just gonna pull you up. <laughs> huh. Um. Well, I guess uh, we can just pull. If uh. Maybe like you can throw me a lifeline. Uh, hopefully, if I go across the bridge, um, you know, if, if that doesn't work out, then you guys can. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Yep. Yeah, here I, I have some rope. If you guys don't, don't think so. No. Oh, it's a good thing I came prepared. Uh, Soft skins yeah, are never prepared. Somebody. Uh, no, I do have rope. Traps. I do have rope. <laughs> I did not really have a piece of rope though, so... <laughs> you have one of those tiny pieces of rope? Yeah, like, I do. Essentially just a string. I have 50 oh. feet. Cool. Nope. Uh, you, you guys... Okay, give me a roll to get across there then, buddy. While you hold on to that rope. Okay. Okay. <laughs> nice. Get across too good. easily. Too good. You, know, you drop the rope halfway past because you don't need it. So <laughs> maybe Ungo Fire and I should go scout ahead. I agree. Um, uh, I say, oh, remember there's uh, archers. Archer things. Would be able to just go down and walk across or bridge as well? Well, my thinking. Wait. <laughs> My thinking is if we uh, go from this side, that archer over here wouldn't be able to see us because that's such a thin slit. Do we? Uh, are we actually able to see any goblins or no? You don't see any now. Mm. This is very... Okay, so uh, let me do... I'll go first. Or... Uh, although you would be able to see that there's a lot of tracks around here. Uh, and they all match goblin. Can I estimate? Yeah, because I'm in favorite terrain. How many tracks are there? Like sets of tracks? Uh, give me a roll. Just for a sheer number. Uh, D20? Yep, D20 plus uh, wisdom, I guess. Survival? Uh, yeah, survival. Plus plus so plus six then. Cool. Um, so you can tell if there are uh, tracks going back and forth. Um, this place was tracked recently, last week, um, over a, a hundred times. Um, a bunch of them appear to be not walking, but kind of dragging their legs behind. But uh, all tiny feet. Um, yeah, all tiny feet. So they seem to be like patrolling, but they're just like, ugh, we're walking again and again. Well, I guess we should go check ahead then. I think they're all inside because it's cold. Yeah, it probably has been storming lately, so... So, I'm gonna try and sneak in. So I'll cool. stealth twice, yep. Yep. in case I have advantage. Or disadvantage. Or disadvantage, of oh. course. The, the snow crunching give you issues. Okay, cool. <laughs> let's hope I don't have disadvantage. I'd say look for one of the, um, the archers things over here on this side. Alright, I'll stop here and then cool. wait for uh, the buddy to uh, come over. Those were my stealth rolls, by the way. Yeah, yeah I'm aware. I know you don't roll for fun. <laughs> uh, okay, well. This door here. Yeah. Are there any uh, a keyhole I could peer through? Um, there is a keyhole, yes. I'm gonna try and look- oh god. I remember last time someone looked in one. I'm gonna look inside the keyhole. Cool. Uh, you can look inside the keyhole, um, you can clearly see what appears to be, uh... Uh, let me see right here. An eye looking back at you. <laughs> yeah. That's what happened over here. Something like that. It looks uh, clear. Yeah. 
you guys want to do or do you want to check around the whole perimeter uh for any other entrances yeah or any like one in the back uh, I, so. I kind of loudly whisper is it safe is it safe for us to move forward it's <laughs> called whisper. it's called quietly screaming <laughs> no, no. Um, as it's Muck Muck makes a bunch of signals that seem like they mean something, but you probably don't know what they mean. Okay. So nah, I just look over to Steel Claire and can just. Okay. <laughs> I, 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 I kind of shrug and just like, oh. Uh, let me reveal stuff up there this year. Uh, but rather than. It looks like this only has one entrance. I guess we could try and get in. Oh. So the I... good old virgin? <laughs> well, let's see if it's locked first, which I will try, if there's a handle. Uh, if there's a handle, and it does appear locked. Well, let's fix that problem, right? I'm gonna try and pick the lock. Cool. And um, I'll start here. here double checking. On. Doing just what? Just double checking. Uh, with, with, uh, with silence. Um, is that does that only apply to, like, inside the dome? That the yeah. Dome yeah. All, only things with uh, anything that passes through the dome, or there's no, there's no. It's, it's just no sound can can go enter in or pass what? through or be made in. Is that? So if, if if I were to cast like uh, silence on the door, no one can hear it open. Yeah, exactly. There would be no loud. <laughs> oh. yeah, just like a level three. So, does the is lock give way, or can I open it? Uh, oh, the no. lock does it's give way. Yes. Sweet. Um, well, yeah. It's open. Time for you two to charge in. Okay. Well. Oh. Muck Muck um, will be way over here. Uh, how does it open? Does it open? Well, uh, he just it, uh, he just unlocked it, didn't he? Yeah, it opens. It opens uh towards you guys. Damn. Okay. Uh, is it like a double door or is it a single door? Double door. Okay. I um, just kind of look to the rest of the parties to see if they're ready. Muck, Muck takes out a short bow. Uh, okay. Well, I get my mace, but. I say, is it really, uh, is it really, should I really put the, uh, the silence in the door, just in case? If, if someone's close enough to hear it, they'll probably be close enough to see it. This exactly. isn't such a big building. Yeah, okay, well, um, I, uh, I slowly go over here. Um... I don't. I don't want to do like repeat history and look through it and have so much. Back. You're made of metal. Come on. <laughs> What's the worst that can happen? Yeah, exactly. Or small let's, let's have. Nah. What? What do you guys get ready? I'm just gonna go have a quick peek. Oh shh. Empty room. Empty. Nothing but okay. trash and garbage. A lot of footprints so on the floor. I just look and I just okay and I open up the door. Cool. You just open up the door. Yep, and I kind of go in. Cool. You open the door and you see that. Yep. Uh, they appear quite surprised at your entry. Okay. So I shall roll initiative first. Cool. Everybody, roll initiative. Let's see, what is my bonus? Oh, it's level three, uh, three plus for level seven. I think I'm going first. You don't have Sorry. proficiency bonus to initiate, do you? No, no, you don't. Yeah. Muck muck, twenty nine. <laughs> <laughs> So you said they were surprised. Um, just they weren't expecting it. They were doing something else. Yeah, or? it's it's. I'd say it's surprise. Oh yeah. my okay. goodness, this is gonna be amazing. Okay, so I will let 
everyone gets this, or I'm just asking. everyone. Everyone gets it, yeah. Okay. Yep. So go ahead in order. And boom, starting with Muck Muck. All right. So as the doors open, I'll move over here, stand right here, take a a shot at this guy right here. Sounds good. And because of my assassin thing, I have advantage, just in case. So that's a good thing I do. Nice. Is it out? 21 hit. Be yeah, for us. 21. So, since it's also a surprise round, assassins get automatic criticals. Nice. So that's uh, 6 d6. Um, that's way too low. Uh, it mm -hmm. dub it doubles all your dice, all of them, including <laughs> including your sneak attack. Yep, twenty six. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's more like ten d six. Oh well, that's the lot. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, I thought you rolled ten d six and got seven. No, no. <laughs> I, that's not even okay. Um, yeah, he <laughs> was <laughs> yeah. mathematically possible. <laughs> right through the eye. I'm just. Sprain all over the door. Yeah. So he starts chortling with laughter and starts running away. Haha, <laughs> Udafar, you're up. Alright, perfect time for me to stop fighting. So. One, two, three, four. Take aim. Take aim again. Okay, uh, both those hit. And that's two arrows in the eyes. Blah. Okay. You guys just took some lives. Good luck. <laughs> just goblins. They're not real people. Oh, right. I forgot to actually put my inner stupid into there. <laughs> Failed me. Thank <Like> you. <laughs> Terrible. Okay. Um, yeah. And if that's, that's battle ending unless you guys want to charge somewhere else. Uh, I say, well, the room, the room to the right is empty. Um, obviously, there's a door in there that I, that I saw, but you know, that's locked. Room to the left, I have no idea, but um, obviously, there's the double doors in the middle, so I don't know where you guys gonna go. Do you wanna go into the safe room over here, or? I've, I've heard to the left is where you found treasure and the bomb that you found before. From sources. <laughs> from from our tales. Um, uh, Let's just say I've been yeah. watching. Let's have a look. Let's go into the. Uh, Udo's asking if the goblins have anything on them. Um, nothing worthwhile. Um, they of course have tiny, uh, kind of shattered bows, poorly made. Uh, the, the clothing that they're wearing. Um, unless you want to do an, an investigation check, uh, I'm not going to see anything interesting. Okay. Mm. Do we hear, or sorry, um, these doors, are they jarred open, or what is it? Um, it's just showing which way they, they open. They open that oh, okay. way. Uh, oh, can we, can we move the, uh, these two goblins into the empty room here? Yeah, so easily. Least... That's not hard. Uh, you do so. Yeah, I can just drag them in there. Uh, off the door. Um, oh, while, while I'm there, um, I kind of like listening into the door here. Do I hear anything? Uh, you hear nothing. Okay. Assuming you don't make a roll. He thinks this place right. is abandoned. You oh, think there's, there's nothing here at all? Oh, why don't we go into the main room? Yeah, um, I'd say we we'll check this room out first, and then yeah, I agree with that. So, <laughs> can I open this door? Uh, it doesn't appear locked. All right. You open the door, and you find what appears to be a uh, a kitchen with a, a large pot um, open um, a large pot kind of bubbling this green this green smoke and this is a blood trail? um yes it seems dried though uh, probably months okay mm -hmm. 
out. So I walk over to the pot. Is it uh, the moment food? you get to there? You get this. Yeah, you you sniff in this kind of green gas, and you uh, you can immediately tell it's poison. Uh, you're not affected just because one smell isn't going to affect the dwarf. Um, but you definitely know it, it's poison. Okay, so I just immediately back off and just tell everyone else that the, the, there's some poison in the pot. You should not go there. Poison pot? Can I try to identify what it is using my proficiency with poison ears kit? Yes, you can. I didn't even think about that. It's bad for you. You, you can't name it, but you know it's meant to. It's uh, it's actually designed to be um, used as gaseous form. That's that's when it's most poisonous or most effective. I relay that to the group, of course. Well, let's I not keep go in there. Secrets from the group. <laughs> but um, oh. but yeah, with that seven, you also know I probably do about um. About, about 10 damage, or if you stand in it for a turn, or rather if you go through it, if you breathe it in. Okay. Um, well, there's no way we can kind of, like, bottle up gas, can we? Do I have any gas? Um, not easily. Yeah. Do you have, do you have well, a balloon on you? No, not... Just breathe it in and push into the balloon. Yes. <laughs> I'm a robot, so I don't really do that. The breathing thing. Shame. Um, I say uh, onwards. Uh, let's, uh, let's see what's been going on here. It seems like maybe the uh, the kobolds would be were uh, you know trying to siege this place for nothing. Uh, uh, I we'll, ask. We'll be playing ask, for a while, but... I ask Good Fire if I may take a spot in the front, so. In case there is someone in, in that yeah, room. Yeah, Thank you. I, uh, what's called, is it locked, or? It does not appear locked. Uh, again, uh, it does. More. It does appear to be covered with brains, though. Um. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not bothered by that. I'm not bothered by that. Um, I just look back at my party, just seeing if they're ready. And uh, once they are, I open the door and go in. Sweet. Wow. Uh, can I can I use my uh, am I able to use like a reaction? Go ahead. To pull him back. You want to do what? Can I use a, a reaction and like pull Ragnar back? Oh yeah, easily. As I see the uh, yeah. As soon as I see the circle. Done. You pull him back. Okay. Um, am I? Mm -hmm. oh, crap. I don't have Arcana, but I wanna I wanna try and see if I can. Um, Determine what the hell this is. One second. <laughs> One second, boss, sir. I I'll just. I just want to examine this magic in front of you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, no. Like it's. It's more of a like. You know, just kind of. Quick. Like, what the hell is that? Well, it's gonna blow us up. It's gonna. <laughs> okay. Blow us uh, up for you. <laughs> you guys can clearly see the master uh, across the way, sitting on a throne. Uh, it doesn't seem to be um, recognizing you guys, or not really being affected by you guys. Uh, but you do see a large uh, cauldron, or not a cauldron, uh, it seems to be a large uh, circle, um, of course, a, with the glyphs on it. And um, you can also see down there, oh, I really wish I could grab your character steel cleric, if you won't let me. Um, but also, of course, you see it appears to be a bunch of green, uh, not really gas, but goo. Seems to be uh, pasted on the floor, or rather pooled. There we go. Um, now with the the glyphs, um, yeah. So with the glyphs, is is that are they permanent? Like, how are they written on the ground? Ah, uh, they seem to be written in some sort of uh, thick red sand. Okay. Um. I don't have any sort of... We had a wizard. Yeah. <laughs> or, or like, the water. 
the water from Norian's uh, thing. Uh, okay, okay. Hey, 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 Fabin. You there? Or is she still ignoring? Hey, hey, I'm here. You, I know this game well enough, but if you just don't want to play a magic user, you can just be in, I'll tell you what to roll and when. Well, but that's a bit like uh, you're kind of holding my hand a bit too much. Um, honestly, I'm. Uh, I, I, I could be a professional dungeon master at this point. Um, that I've and I've DM'd enough first-time players and have done that a lot, so it's really not an issue for me. Right, it is an issue for me though. You you don't like being taken care of? You're too prideful. Ah, uh, a bit, yeah. Okay. More, more than that, though, I kind of need some time to to come up with an, a decent character that I'm, that I'm happy with. Mm. Okay. You know, the background and all stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm well, most background, uh, background interested. Don't worry about. Don't worry. I'm, about I'm most interested in, in in the role playing aspect. Yeah. You know. Which is why I'm trying to get you in here because all you really need is the role playing aspect. <laughs> right. <laughs> Um, but uh, okay. I, I kind of need the technical aspects to back that up. Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, so, Steel Clark, um, Right. Yeah, um, you see that. Obviously. You see the door across the way. Yeah. Um, so, oh, that's our guard. With, uh, with a bit of, I guess, more of a reflex action, I try, I'll try. i go and cast... Um, Burning Hands? When's the last time that worked out for you? <laughs> yeah. Totally. Yeah, no. It's a bad thing. Just walk in it. Maybe you'll get the power yeah. he's trying to gain. <laughs> it'll be um. No, it'll be sacred flame. You want to cast sacred flame? Uh. Well, the thing is, like, how can I get rid of the glyphs? So oh, what? Obviously. You want to cast it on the glyphs? Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, so to like to rub away the sand. Yeah, sure, sure. Um, you you shoot towards the, some of the sand. It kind of dusts off or flies off in one direction. Um, does it do anything? Um, it appears to not do much against the circle. Can I, uh... So, looks like Sorry. this thing is, uh, gonna stop us from doing something, like, getting close. No. Go in. Can, uh, can I look at the masters very quickly? Like, does, does he, like, is his eyes looking at us, or is he, like, zoned out? It appears zoned out. Okay. Hmm. I was like, this is strange. He, he normally by now would have attacked us or possibly even killed us. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's uh, another trap? Well, it well, may not be a trap sure per like se, it. but it, it, he might be controlling or doing something else elsewhere. By the way, John, that 16 that I rolled, does that. 4. Can, does that, like, tell me anything about the. Uh, about the circle? The or the glyphs? Yeah. Yeah. Um, you definitely can tell, um, hmm. sorry, I'm eating here too, um, you can tell that the sand, um, and the ritual are, are combined to make a familiar spell that you've actually seen before. Uh, the goo is alchemical in nature, and you believe it to be the same goo that you use in the well. Oh, it's a portal. That's a portal. Yeah, I'll just do Excuse me. We have to step into the goo to actually go in. Maybe we should it? stop this guy. So if we if we like if we step onto the glyphs it does nothing. But if we go into the goo, that's where we get sent. I mean no, we okay. could actually just hit him pretty hard from here. Yeah. Uh okay, you know what I say I say screw it. I'm in uh and I go sort of here, but not step into the circle. Yeah, completely reasonable. That, that's very easy to do. Um, am, am I am I okay? Yeah, you're fine. I'm um, okay. So I then I, I move yeah. towards uh, here. You, got, you guys want to roll for initiative then? Roll what? Sorry. You guys want to roll for initiative or? Are you just gonna charge in and bash him? <laughs> Sounds like a plan. Yeah, I mean, if we can destroy his body, he's got nothing. He's got nowhere to, nowhere to find his soul to.
Uh, still clear? Yes. Oh, you got 23, oh, sorry. sorry. Uh, 20 no, I got, I got it. Okay. Cool. Um, so let's begin with Mukmuk. Muk. Um... Well, I am going to hold my action until someone actually attacks him, because he doesn't seem like a threat. Sweet. So, Steal yeah. cleric, then. Cool, I'm gonna go walk one, two, three, uh, four, and... Is he, like, just sitting down there with his, like, eyes all... Yeah, this all doesn't, it doesn't appear to have moved. Um... Uh, here, and, uh, I don't know, just smack him with my mace. Cool. See if he... See if he roll. Reacts. Hopefully 50 should hit one then. <laughs> and we'll move. I'm yeah, uh, yeah you, you hit him. Uh, Udfar, would you, oh, they do damage. Uh, Udfar? Nope, where is he? Udfar? Ragnar? Oh, oh. oh. Okay. You know, you send, you send uh, two shots right for his face, and Ragnar, what do you do? Um, I move up one, two, three. So yeah, because that was crit, that was the extra damage. I will also attack him, why not? Okay, so... D8. Nope. Nope. <laughs> no. I am just absolutely terrible here. Hilarious. <laughs> cool, so um, at, you guys charge forward, and um, as you got, all start smashing and slashing and shooting arrows, I uh, notice it goes right through him, as he is clearly an illusion. Um, however, the Steel Cleric and Ragnar's combined effort destroys the, uh, the thing he was standing on. Yes, our combined efforts. No. <laughs> but, but surprised. <laughs> um, yeah, you, you see him kind of go back and forth in and out of reality, um, and although the chair is destroyed, you can see him appear to still be sitting there, even though he's sitting on nothing. So it's another illusion. <laughs> um, <laughs> Ragnar, bash that door in. Maybe he's there doing a Wizard of Oz. I first just try opening the door. Uh, the door opens, you can clearly see inside. Okay. Bed rolls and such. Yep. Yeah. Oh, he must be in the portal. After you. <laughs> I look at Seal Cleric and be ready. I push Ragnar. <laughs> yeah, good news. <laughs> good strength I, I check. Fallen, <laughs> and I just jump in after him. Cool. You guys see those two jumping? I was I ordered to follow pushed, them, right? But yeah. What? I was ordered to follow them, right? Uh, you were ordered uh, yeah. to get the orb. Oh, right. Well, I think it's down there, so though. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just send it here. Give it some air pressure and do the same thing as well. Oh, uh, no, you should have abandoned them. I was about to. Turns out it's just an acid pit. <laughs> Suggers. <laughs> and that's why I got to check this stuff the out. Green jello. Terrible. So, when you guys, uh, you guys go through the goo and you realize that there's no light where you are. Um, That's fine. Cast light. You cast light. Cool. Um, you cast some light, and uh, you can see that the light is much dimmer than it usually is. And um, you can tell what's your name again, Ragnar, that your dark vision is not going nearly as far as it usually does. Uh, you can barely see the the roof of this place. Okay, and how? Uh, how, like, what's the clearing, uh, clearance between the floor and the roof? Uh, probably about 15 feet. Okay. Yeah. Um, you guys look around and, and as, um, what's your name, uh, uh, Udafar pops up, um, he, he says you can hear some stuff in the, in just outside of your field of vision. 
I say, uh, guys, how do we get back out? <laughs> you guys are still in the goo, by the way. You're basically kind of in. swimming in it. We're still yeah, in the goo. We could literally just go back up if we needed to. Oh, right. So we, there's like, what's tunnel? No, you guys are just, that's how the goo works, you know? You're swimming in it. Oh, yeah, okay. there's just like another one of those circles here, right? Yeah, you you look around and the stone uh, Ragnar would notice that the stone work is weird, and the stone does not even seem to be of this plane. Well, uh, I'm not getting a good feeling from this, but we should probably kind of see what's more around us. And since our light sources are, or we just can't see that far away. Mm -hmm. I guess we'll just have to carefully move up ahead. Cool. Uh, as you guys begin to move up, you begin to hear the, the rustling sounds start up faster. Um, as your light kind of gets higher up and you're able to see a bit more, uh, you notice these massive squid-like monsters. Uh, they appear to be tearing at these uh, goblin corpses, who each are carrying these large uh, beaked masks. Um, as you look at them, they appear to be not uh, striking at the body, but more like ripping at uh, the incorporeal soul of the goblins. Uh, roll for initiative, please. Are these beasts, like, humanoid and tall? Oh, okay, thank god. <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> that is not a word you want to say. For, you want to be right. thanking anyone right here, right now. Yeah, great initiative rolls by me. They're not what they think I am. They are. Which is good. Uh, okay. That's a shame. <laughs> I made 13 initiatives. So nice. Everybody's in? It's everybody else's initiative showing up? Yeah. I only sit on the squids. Oh, yeah, okay, I have to the squids. Okay, that was my problem. One, two, three, four. Add turn. There you yeah. go. Thank you. For the trap battle music. Sweet. Uh, Muck Muck, um, you are currently swimming in goo. Uh, it's fairly thick, um, so you're if you go to about waist high, it takes about three seconds for you to uh, submerge. Um, so you should be able to fire while in this position, or easily swim out. But um, not both. No, you... Yeah, sure, why not? Not both. Uh, I guess I'll shoot then, because... Cool. Getting out just is gonna get me killed at the closest one right there. Cool. Give me a row. -row. Of course. Okay. Um, it, it seems to sink into its body, into one of its tentacles, but um, it doesn't appear affected. Oh, wait, I have advantage if that's gonna help. Because have, oh, because first round combat? Yeah. Cool. Go for it. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Uh, it, it's you. You hit right on target, but it doesn't seem to do anything to him. This is why you play halflings, folks. <laughs> yep. Uh, these two creatures see uh, new targets and they start going for you. <laughs> uh, they start grasping with their long tendrils at uh, Ragnar. Okay. So, thanks to check, or is that, this is an attack? Um, no, it's just an attack. Oh, okay. okay. And, Sorry. uh, against Udafire. I'm assuming those both misses, yeah. Yep. Cool. Um, so Udafire is going to be your turn. Now, as you, uh, as... Yeah, go ahead. Um, alright, so... I saw that an arrow did not really do anything. We also got a 14 on it. You didn't see that. <laughs> <laughs> an, an, uh, a, a poorly placed arrow doesn't do anything so far. Don't want to 
Ciao, Mac Mac. Well, in the taking the attack. Okay, go. Go for it. All right. So boom, I take the opportunity attack from it. Oh, cool. Um, it is super happy about that. But it's probably it's not. Yeah. Not happy enough though. So <laughs> one, two, three. This is gonna crawl out the goo. So longbow for me. And cool. then the lizard's going to bite it. Nice. And get a crinkle. <laughs> Hilarious. Um, well, I'm just gonna roll one d20. See how bad you can make it for him. <laughs> oh. Um, and he just he just eats some. <laughs> oh man, you just don't have any luck with your companions. <laughs> he 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 envelops him in in uh in what they call it claws and beak and uh, tendrils. <laughs> You made a distraction. That's what matters. Yeah, exactly. Um, if you want to do anything, want to do anything else, the steel cleric's turn. Um. Okay. So, is he like, is the lizard dead? No, lizard, lizard, lizard's uh, just being hurt badly now. It's, oh, it's, okay. in a, it's in a bad position. Okay. So I I move uh, and I I attack it with um, with my sacred flame while still in the goo. Uh, will that affect no. my... No, I'm just attack. making sure you realize you're in the goo. Oh, <sighs> could be important. Um, so it's that <sighs> kind of DM. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's, he's that kind of DM. I he's see. I'm, I'm still bad, in the goo. A bad person. Sacred Flame. Sacred Flame, nice. Uh, he has to make a dexterity save. He's That's definitely awesome. succeeded. Bloody fast ass tentacle. Okay. Yeah. It's more uh, as you fire, he all his tentacles that ride the ramp seem to confuse you as you shot to the left when you should have shot to the right. Ragnar, um, you look around and you can see clearly that the poison um, that you saw before is also here. It seems to be pumped in, pump, be pumping into the walls. Um, as you look around, you can actually see tiny slits in the walls that appear to be pumping up this green gas. Um, going. Uh -huh. Going too near to the walls, uh, including your position, is definitely going to mean um, getting poisoned. Uh, you take half damage, which is five damage, because you're so good at poison. Okay, so five damage for me. Gotcha. Um, so I will move over here and here uh, to get out of the goo. Am I still in range of that poison, or do I have to be? Um, you are you are now outside of it. You have to be okay. inside the green square. Um, the guy's gonna take attack of opportunity on you, though. Oh, uh, I'm not exiting his thing? Ah, uh, it's right, it's right. If you know the drill. Okay, yeah. go ahead, then. Uh, I will attack him. I Is that a hit? Uh, does 19 hit? 19 does hit, yes. And that's also a hit. Awesome. Oh, wow. Um, 8 plus... okay, uh... 8 damage and some damage. So that's 15 in total. Cool. Uh, you chop off a couple of tentacles. Um, they appear to just fly right back out with like like uh, shooting roots. Yeah. Uh, but blood does splatter everywhere. Um, I, at least I would it, uh, at least you the... you think it might be blood. You're not quite sure. It, it's all purple. The stuff that keeps flying out of them. Yeah, I would definitely mention that. Stay away from the walls. They they have some kind of poison. I think it's similar to the things uh, the thing in the pot we saw in the fortress. Uh, muck muck, you're up. You're up off my book. All right. Well, thank God you said that, because gob or cobalt instinct was about to take in. But uh, <laughs> no, get out of here. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna shoot a short bow shot at that guy. Cool. Uh, steel cleric. I'm just gonna put a little aura around you. Um, how how far does uh, light go generally? Uh, Twenty feet. Thirty um, feet of dim. Thirty feet of light or bright I mean 60 it goes out 30 feet of bright and then another 30 of yeah dim, it's it seems to go only about half the amount okay, okay so 15 15 yeah. so there's brown. an 18 hit uh, it's an 18 hit uh, 18 does hit sweet wait a minute I have advantage too so I'm just gonna just in case it's a Oh yeah, because no. of that, you know. Yeah. 
Give me some damn damn. <laughs> Nineteen, nice. Um, you don't get sneak attack on this thing. No. No. Okay, so that was just four. Cool. Yeah. Um, it's only because you have no idea what its physiology <laughs> is. Makes sense. Yeah. I mean, you, you you probably go for like face or the eyes, but it doesn't appear to be affecting it. Um, if you can open it up and see what lies within and what seems important, that'll probably help. Um, the one at the bottom right, he's just gonna try to ravage the uh, the guy's grappling. I does six points of damage. That's nasty. Uh, the one's gonna go for Ragnar, of course. Gonna miss them. Or rather, his his tendrils just don't seem to penetrate his armor. Uh, Ooh, fire. I'm assuming he's here. Yeah, he is. Ooh, fire. Oh, uh, he's the one. Nice. Two shots. Both yeah, hit. On the bottom guy. This one. Yeah, on the bottom guy. Yeah, cool. Uh, two okay, shots fly in, and you, they just seem to disappear within his body. Um, two holes in his face are all that's left of that of that pr to prove the arrows ever existed. Uh, Steel Clark. Okay, so um, I'm gonna try again. Um, hold on. Uh, nope. I have to look in the scorching ray because I don't want to damage the lizard boy over here. Uh, boom. Metal uh, sacred flame again. Ah, uh, he's going to try to dodge. And he's 20 plus 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 6. 16. Uh, that beats your thing? Uh, it's my spell AC, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, DC. Just, yeah. Nice. It just beats it? Spell, yes, yeah, sorry, spell DC, yeah. 16. Okay, uh, then Ragnar, you're up. Two more strikes at it. All of them fail. <laughs> Terrible. Oh, yeah. um, muck, muck, you're up. You're up, up. It, it basically, right. I just go into smash and just like plop and just having trouble to retrieve it. <laughs> so obviously, arrows aren't working so well, so I'm just gonna drop my bow and take out my short swords. Can I somehow like improvise them to slash instead of stab with them? Uh, your short swords? Yeah. Yeah, I'll allow it. Um, only, only daggers I would be okay. inclined to, to use slash. And as, as for the poison, is it entering that causes the damage or ending your turn there? Let's um, start. It's, it's, it would be entering, yeah. Okay. Then... I'm gonna walk over to this guy and take two stabs at him. Cool. Give me some rolls. First one hit? Yeah, that's the first hit. Six points of damage. Oh. Cool. Fortunately, I'm a big idiot. Now I can't disengage. <laughs> um, yeah, that's especially unfortunate because this is happening. <laughs> oh, uh, from the very east, from the west, um, is a, another one comes out. Uh, you see, he's actually he was actually holding a small goblin and flung it back as he charged forward, uh, which means he is going to go for you. Oh, do four d twelve damage. Hello. Uh, he does okay. thirty two points of damage yes. to you as he so begins to. Use my uncanny dodge as a reaction and half that. Cool. So you huh. take um, whatever amount of damage. As, uh, oh, sorry, so 16. 16, damage. 16. 16, yeah. As it begins ripping and tearing. And uh, it actually grabs you a bit, pulls you in, and starts gnawing at you with its massive beak. But you're able to kick it away and get out. It needs uh, um, stunt die. Oh yeah, it needs stunt die. Um, I'll do stunt die now. Um, that was for the guy underneath, or the pet. Uh, this is the, for the stunt die. That was. This is for the stunt die. I like the two better. 
Um, so sorry, but you were... 10 was the damage? No. You now have, um, 10 was damage? No, 10 was not the damage. The damage is going to be... 12... It's going to be 7 for the little guy. Um, but for you, my friend, uh, what you're going to get is instead, um... What are you going to get? Um, that's right, you're going to get, uh... You're going to get grappled by him, similar to the other guy. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Um, uh, Udafar. Actually, no, Ragnar. What? You're being attacked. 18 hit? Oh, okay. 18 is a miss. Okay. Ooh. Uh, what's your AC again? Uh, 19. 19, okay. Uh, are you using one shield only? Yes. Cool. Because all my other ones got destroyed. Haha, <laughs> uh, Udafar, you're up. Alright, so I'm gonna cast Hunter's Mark. On? Uh, this one who has my pet as a level cool. 2 spell. Nice. Uh, boom, marked for death. Okay, so. Boom and boom. Second nice. one hits on this. Uh, the second one misses. Alright, so. Uh, extra is five damage on top of that seven. Cool. So, seven points. Oh, so. Twelve points damage. Mm hmm. Cool. Uh, Cleric, uh, you're up. Well, oh, and as a bonus action, now. my thing is gonna take a defensive stance while it's grappled. Or. <laughs> Good it? Yeah, sure, I'll uh, Yeah. Burnham Cleric. Okay, so if I move here, am I able to still attack? Um, tentacle in front? Um, they're, they're in grapple, so you're fine. Okay, um... Yeah, I say... Uh... Hope you like fire! <laughs> Terrible! You're gonna burn your allies. Yep. Uh, go for it. Yeah. Give me some rest. Uh, what level That's are you good. doing it at? Um, I'm gonna do the uh, hot hands. This guy, burn hands. <laughs> steel hot hands, player. <laughs> hot hot, hot uh, lips. Steel like, hot lips. Like yeah, basically touch him. Yeah. Just like ah. Oh, ten damage is not that much. Uh, let's see if I take zero damage actually. Six. Ooh. That's a fail. That's a double fail, so it's two yeah. damage each. Wow. Um, and the pet? Do you want to roll for the pet, buddy? I'll roll for the pet. Uh, 1d20 plus 3. 10. It's going to fail. Pet takes 10 damage. Oh, uh, he dev has defensive stance, though. Um, doesn't matter for spells. Okay. Oh no no, he gets uh saves on dex saving throws though. He gets what? Stance. Oh, okay. uh, it's, yeah. Then um, well, then for 20, 20 plus three. Although I'm not sure if that's right. Plus three, five, five. even worse. <laughs> so that's probably like what twenty some damage he took now total. Something like Sorry, Odo. <laughs> Ragnar, you're up. I am gonna keep bashing this guy right in front of me. Attempting. Keep attempting to bash. Okay. I, I hit once. Well, we don't know that. Um, 19. Let's roll 1d20. <coughs> 19, cool. Uh, yep, that hits. Um, yeah, so 10 damage to it. Yep. Yeah. Oh, 10 damage, nice. Um, as you strike low, it uh, it envelops you within its, within its many talents. Yep. Did you learn a lesson about getting critical ones? Yeah. I don't think <laughs> yeah. I learned, though. I, I'm don't, a dwarf. I'm too stubborn. No, let's too say. Always play ahead. <laughs> muck, muck, you're up, Pop. Um, well, that's a figu I... figure of speech. You're being grappled. Yeah. <laughs> well, I am gr grappled. Yeah. Can next... I still attack with my short swords? Oh, yeah, easily. Since they're light. Yeah. yeah. You, you, there, he's grappling you around the waist and around some of your arms and your legs. You can still swim. All right, I'll try and slash at him twice. Cool. Look at Ooh. that. That's yeah, beautiful. Nice. Both, both hit. Oh, um. Also, uh, you remember you do have? Or wait, doesn't sneak attack apply if you have a enemy yes, of the but enemy? It, I don't it, know where these things' organs are. They're physiology. Physiology. Oh. Physiology is too strange. Gotcha. That's why I'm cool. slashing at them. Yeah. You start slashing and you just goo is just covering your face at this point. It's just 
it's coming out and oozing. Oh, you yeah, forgot roller stunt die though. Oh hey. Oh yeah. Roll stunt die. Oh, it's gonna be difficult to use against. Yeah, yeah. since I'm grappled. So yeah. that would not help. only grappled, but this thing you really would be pushing it over would be very difficult for its legs. Yeah, but you use your uh, yeah, um, mighty blow, so it increases. Yeah, the use mighty blow and get an extra uh, 1d6 damage there. Sure. Cool. Um, these guys turn, uh, so they're going to attack the star with the pet. Uh, naturally one. This he could have still died. Um, uh, 16 on you there, little guy. No. Oh. Muck muck. Yeah, that hits. I have a cool. 15. And a 24 on the big guy. Darn it! <laughs> yeah, that's a hit. Okay, well it's only 20 damage on you, big guy. Oh, okay. Oh my god. 12, and on the little oh, guy, 20. it's yeah. 20 damage too. Oh, damn it, John, stop hacking already! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing do you want? nothing. Uh, you want how to you see in the green circle? Um, you, you can if you want, but it's not super. Not gonna really affect me. Uh, are you unconscious? Nope. I still have 16 health left. Okay, I have a cool. plus two to my con. Oh, okay, cool, cool. And that means it is Udafar's turn. Your friends are all dying. I see that. <laughs> so attacking this one again. That's on my pet. First cool. one. Miss. Um, a 14 is going to miss, unfortunately. In hindsight, we really should not have split our attention. Yeah, you, yeah. If, if you had focused on one of these at a time, I think two would be dead, probably. Yeah, yep. yeah. And my pet will take a defensive stance once yeah. more. Uh, Steel Cleric. Okay, um, how bad are you? How bad is everyone looking? Uh, okay. it, it's, it's a pretty grim situation if, you, if you're not into tentacles and being aiden alive. Um, okay, it's well. um Cthulhu porn is how I would describe the situation. <laughs> nice. Uh, well, uh, I'm gonna cast mass healing word. Hey. Um, at least at least give everyone a fighting chance if uh, if they're not doing too well. Uh, I'll do that. Cool. Um, one D plus two. That does not seem like much, um, but everyone roll 1d8 plus 2 and add that to your health. I like healing. That's not happening. No. Um, oh, meanwhile, it's Ragnar's turn. Uh, hold on, Ragnar. Ah, god damn it, I'm terrible. Did you, did you lucky your roll, or...? Oh, no, no, one was for my pet. Okay. Okay, so I get plus 4. Uh, I am going... Uh, can I attack it, or no? Uh, oh yeah, you can attack, of course. Well, what, oh. what, what, what weapon are you using? I'm using a warhammer, so that's not light. I, it's that's not what light. Asking. Yeah, it, it, you need some light. Okay, yeah. Um, uh, but you can punch that, it with your fist. Can I ungrapple? So, yes, you can. Uh, as that is ungrappling is one um, attack. One of your attacks to be ungrappling. Can I do it twice if the first one fails? Yes, you can. Okay, and fourteen against his what? Uh, 14 against his roll, which is going to be tremendous, by the way. I think John's I think mad about his grapple bar not working. No, no, my grapple bar works perfectly. Um, it's just that <laughs> yeah, these, that these guys are freaking... I will try guys. once more. <laughs> you literally, <laughs> you literally I'm can't. I'm gotcha. <laughs> you got a 29, though. Um, yeah. Muck muck, you're up, up. Well, again. Right. I'm gonna try and get out of here, even though that seems highly unlikely. Uh, you're very dexterous, you might be able to get up. As I see you do this, I just shout, NOT GONNA HAPPEN! No! Oh. Oh. So what? Oh! I, I, I love when I'm gonna get a, like a 20 here. Nah. Uh -huh. Oh, wow. <laughs> get out of here. Yep, you managed to slip out. I stand corrected! <laughs> Then, okay, uh, that was your attack. Yeah, that was my attack. And then I'm gonna move here. Can I get into the pool? Um, give me like a dexterity it. check, and I'll and I'll see how I feel. Is acrobatics perfect? Oh, acrobatics, acrobatics, yeah. Give me acrobatics. Seventeen. Ah, one. Let me roll. Huh? Yeah, you you can get into the pool. All right, and I use my cunning action to disengage, and I just went. Cool. 
<laughs> Just like um, that. Oof, this is gonna be bad. Um, so, Steel Cleric, uh, you see this thing look to you, and you can't you can't really tell what kind of emotion it's trying to do. But you see it start oh. trying to rip and tear, tear at you with its many tentacles. <laughs> And as it does, you notice that it's not attacking your armor, but rather ripping and tearing at your spirits. Um, it, uh, am I able to use one of my flares to... Yes, you can. That's yeah. You should be constantly using that. Yeah. This is oh, like yeah. the first time I've ever used yeah. it. Like, <laughs> even kind of crazy. Um, yeah, it is especially effective on this guy, it seems. Uh, you see its many eyes kind of glaze over. Uh, I'm going to eye. say, oh, it's it's covered in tiny, tiny eyes. You now notice. Oh, um, as you as you shoot at it, it, as you shoot this flare at it, they all kind of reflect. Um, but it seems to have some sort of problem with that. Uh, it looks like it's dazed. Uh, Udafar. Yeah. So longbow on this one that has my dog. Uh, a Desert. Yeah, sorry. Another one I'm going to, uh... Does that 16 hit? Uh, 16 does it. Alright, so then the extra damage from Hunter's Mark. So, 20 damage. 20 damage, nice. Cool, cool. Uh, you shoot that thing through, and you see it just seems to collapse on top of your pet. There we go. It's going to, as a bonus action, disengage and scurry. It's it's actually too much flesh on top of it. It's gonna need to do a strength check to get out. Oh, that's easy. D twenty plus uh, DC is fourteen. A... Not too hard. Yep, and it is a strength race creature, so fourteen. Oh, just perfect. Wow. Um. Yep. So you can move. Yep. So one, two, three. Uh, this guy's the like, base. So you're fine. Oh, I didn't even need to disengage then. Um, what's the other one? It's dash, disengage, and fight. <laughs> All right. yeah, I can't do anything else. Cool. You could uh, that one. Nah, I use my other attack. Oh, right, right. right. It's either I attack or it attacks right now. Uh, yeah, so since he's dazed, I'm just gonna cast another burning hands on him. Sweet. Just on him? Uh, <laughs> well, this one's already dead, and I don't want to injure Ragnar any more than he already is. As you say that, the like, guy tried to say thank you, but the tentacle grabs my face and I just thumbs hey, up. Oh, roll, 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 roll. <laughs> just roll, thumbs roll. up. <laughs> Don't tell me what to do. Um, Ragnar, you are up and grappled. I will uh, once more, I think, attempt to get out of that. Uh, no, not gonna succeed. Second no. one. Oh, the second one, right? No. Second one, I succeeded. Oh yeah, yeah, you succeeded, ha huh? <laughs> Um, and yeah, I can't do anything else, but... You can move, you should out. move. Move out of the space he, out of the space he connects to. Wait, so my tentacle, my, th this tentacle guy is not dead yet? No. Is he horribly injured? Uh, he, he looks, he looks disfigured. <laughs> As disfigured as a green okay. blob of tentacles can yeah. seem. Oh, uh, muck muck. No, Muck Muck is so into that stunned creature. He's gonna use his cobalt tactics to start attacking it. When the flare went up, were there any big center eyes that I could see instead of just a bunch of the small ones? None. <sighs> Darn. <laughs> Can't attack the weak point for massive damage. And I'll slash at it. Oh, yes, nice. And at the weak point, you said you 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 <laughs> accidentally hit something important. You can uh, <laughs> yeah. you can roll your Wait. sneak attack. Oh, uh, serious? Oh, yeah. My goodness. Uh, it's it's a critical. That means all dice are doubled. Oh my! I keep forgetting that. Look at that. So another five d six. Cool. As you uh as you pull out. Uh, there's a small organ still attached. You figure that's what the their weak spot is. Hey. You uh, you try you kind of try to open it up and real figure out what uh what exactly where exactly it lies inside of them. Oh, I'm guys, I'm doing an organ transplant here. Uh, I'll be a few turns. Um, well, this, actually, you, this goodness. guy's going to. Try, oh, go ahead. It's not exactly over yet. Can I climb over this uh this guy and try and get over there? Give me a climb check. 
<laughs> Never mind. I'm not even gonna bother. I have a minus one to that. Uh, this guy's going to attempt to grapple you, um, Ragnar. Yeah, okay. Ooh. Oh, wow. Yes! <laughs> you just keep it at bay. Uh, and then it's going to, uh, <laughs> it's going to jump onto the walls. It's gonna position itself right about there. Okay. Right about there. Position itself at the corner. Uh, with a fire. Alright, so I'm going to use a bonus action to make it my target for Hunter's Mark. Cool, cool. And Longbow, lucking that. <laughs> one. <laughs> Zero <laughs> hits. Oh, damn. Alright. So I guess that's the uh, end of my turn. Steel clear. Um, uh, I, uh, I cast uh, Sacred Flame. Cool. Give me a roro. Uh, don't take a bath there. <laughs> um, Never. I like this jelly. It moisturizes his metal very well. That's a. This could be oh, a hit. That's a hit. Yeah. I really thought John would be evil and make the the goo teleport us back if we end our turn there. <laughs> yeah, keep. keep For the steel cleric, he forward. would, but uh, you get, the goo is very thick, so it tends to push you up. All right. Unless you forcefully try to push yourself down. Ragnar, you're up. I shall attack. Okay, so one hit. Yep. Uh, b b b eight damage. Nice. Muck, muck. Uh, can I, like, go this way and not have to yeah. climb around? Yeah. I guess I'll do that too. Three, four, and then. And then. Go for some sweet jump and uh, try to like stab both of my short swords in it at the same time. Nice. <laughs> oh, <laughs> mark, mark. With, hey, Norman, I, how have you been? <laughs> I'm I just want to roll to like, see real quick. Yeah, go, go ahead and roll for it, despite it really Orange not mattering. Successor. Cool. Um, you know those toys that kind of grapple onto the wall as they fall down. That happens for like two seconds, and then it just plops against the ground dead. It's like those cheap <laughs> Spider-Man toys. Exactly, like a cheap Spider-Man toy. What are you rolling over there, Cleric? A 3d6 for that spell? I think so. 2d6. <laughs> yeah, 2d8. You guys now have more time to look at these creatures without them trying to strangle you. You find they have like a pale green quality. Uh, just a massive number of eyes. Purple blood. Uh, they all appear to be some sort of cephalopod. Uh, you've never actually seen this creature before. But it definitely doesn't seem of your world. Are they edible? Are they edible? If rocks are edible. Okay, sweet. I'm not gonna eat that, but um... We should take a short rest. I'm kinda hurt. Uh, probably not, not in this room, since we're Yeah, the definitely. Poison. But the problem I is we go into another room and uh... Uh, I have a question about this door. It has an X on it. What does that mean? Uh, it means that the door was busted down as if some sort okay. of creatures uh, come through that place. Uh, as that. you look that way, you can see uh, you can see uh, there's a stairs leading upwards where uh, at the top you can see there's more destroyed door. Uh, yeah, you can just... I would like to check that area out, but considering one of these came from it, no. I'm afraid there's more. Um... <laughs> You you assume that uh, whatever they are there, they are coming from there, of course. Yeah. Now you also see a door right here and a door right there. Yep. Is the boy check from this room? Um, is it visible to all of us now? Uh, it is yeah, it is quite visible. If you, if you're looking for it, you can see it quite easily. How old is it? it? What? Uh, is it traveling across the room, like filling the room up? No, or? no, it just it, it stays seems, by the walls. It stays by the walls and floats up, and then seems to go get trapped in the roof. Okay. I'm a, I'm assuming if we hold our breath, we probably will be fine. Probably. <laughs> so where do you guys want to go? <laughs> yeah. Down the middle or over yeah. here to the right? Um, as as you're looking, uh, as you're just kind of looking around, uh, Udafar is able to spot some etchings uh, by the wall. I make them for what they say. As you approach, it appears to be a small uh, type of map of the area. 
Is it engraved into the wall? It is. Uh, it seemed to be poorly engraved, though, as if it was scratched in. If we had some paper and chalk, we could trace it, but... If only we had someone with a keen mind. Yeah, right? Mm -hmm. uh, is there any, like, places of interest that we can see scratched in? Uh, as you look, it appears to be... There appears to be a very large room down, uh, down south. Um, which is preceded by a smaller room. Um, it looks like a very large room. It looks like something that ha is uh, defensible. Uh, while you look over to the left, it appears to be rooms that go upwards, or very north. Or, not north, um, but rather a room that goes higher. Um, you definitely think that these creatures are coming from wherever it is higher. Um, as you look on the map, you see that there's no entrance, save for this one here. Uh, it appears that this place was isolated. This, this is the only way in. Um, and as you look to the right, you see it appears to be the lowest um, place. Some place down very low. My guess is that way is where the treasure is, and then there's a room defending it. And then the small room is where the treasure is. The orb. Mm, it's a big room. I know there's probably something big bad. Big and bad in there. Um, uh, yeah. John, uh, I know I'm a med I'm more of a medic, but am I able to patch up the lizard? Um, the lizard? Uh, I'll allow it. With my, uh, with my yeah. first aid? Yeah, I'll, I'll allow it. I could right. use some of that too, buddy. Yeah, I'd say use it for the rogue. My, I just use the rogue. I, I think, just go over I to think the he rogue. was talking about the rogue. He's oh, oh, <laughs> oh, right. I am a little lizard, huh? Rogue, uh, or I, I, I'll give you fifteen health points. Why not? Uh, one d six plus seven. One d six plus seven. Nice. Alright, I'm good. I'm practically fresh. Invincible. <laughs> That's so weird. Okay, uh, what do you guys want to do? You're in a room, it's filling with uh, gas. Uh, did it, does it show like how many rooms there are in this direction? Uh, yes, it shows two, um, both going upstairs, two going downstairs, and two, which appear to be even, okay. with this floor. Hmm. I feel like if we want to progress to the orb, it's that way, but if we want some sweet shinies, it would be that way. I think it'll end up being more like all the dangerous stuff. The dangerous stuff would be down in the lower areas. Yeah. But that could be me. Well, Danger we can either usually... wear ourselves down gradually by killing everything in the area and then going to the place with the most likely large danger up ahead, or we can just go through there first. Mm. Yeah, we could. Uh, yeah. Alright, so what I... the hell? Ragnar, lead the way. Go for it. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I open the door. Uh, the pier's locked. Power behind the door. What? You were breaking it by the bottom of single thing. It appears locked. Locked. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> uh, uh, I just love to come out again. Yeah, yeah, I get out of Just scurry my way through the steel cleric and <laughs> avoid my the poisons. <laughs> yeah. Yep, you nice. uh you managed to click it open quite easily. Uh, Much you better see, than kicking it. You see uh, another door on the other side, but it seems to jar. You can see slightly past it. It's a jar. I look through it. Uh, you look through the little crack and you can see what yeah. appears to be uh, between another door is uh, some sort of zombie goblin. What was like to call a zomblin? There's something called zomblin up ahead, guys. How do you, <laughs> how do you know it's called that? Uh, yeah. Okay. So uh, I just kind of wait for my party to come a bit closer before I barge in. Cool, cool. Mm. Um, Steel Cleric is fine because poison doesn't affect robots. 
Mm -hmm. oh, I don't allow it to affect me. You want to allow it to affect you? <laughs> I don't want to allow it to affect me, that's just And stupid. I guess I'll just go over here first and yep. charge forward over here. Cool. Um, so roll for initiative? Yeah. I hate fighting John. Um, what? Seven. <laughs> you hate fighting my what now? You're, you're John zombies. John Bees. Yeah, no. John Bees. John Bees. Piercing does not. Uh, and of course, zombies have their own mm -hmm. Come on, I'll initiate. Thank goodness zombies are slow. Yep. Yeah, something that finally has less initiative than me. Oh, I forgot <laughs> to put mine in. Let's see. Uh, dim light would cover about another three. I presume those are like pillars or something? Um, those appear to be the floor. But appears to, ah. appears to be a small pit. Oh, okay, okay. Now that you revealed a bit more, I can yeah. actually understand. Oh, alright. Um, so, who? Wow, you guys all rolled low. Uh, Muck Muck. Does, uh, did we surprise them, or are they. There's a um, zombies. Zombies, surprise. yeah, these ones don't get surprised. <sighs> Even if they do, organs, they don't, they don't matter to them, so. Sneak attack yeah, them. Yeah. Well, well one, only one matters. Yeah. Uh, wait, no, what brain doesn't matter, right? A lot of these guys do not have a head. Yeah. <laughs> this is gonna do probably nothing, but I'm gonna try and thwack the guy next to Ragnar with a, 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 an arrow. Cool. Um, give me some damage. Give me attack. Um, <laughs> yep, it thwacks into his head, and it just... Uh... <laughs> Darn. <laughs> I need to do more than seven damage. Steel Cleric, you're up. Okay, so... One, two, three, four, five... Do we have any more? Um, yeah, you, you, you bring in the light and allow everyone to see in its very dim fashion the following. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> yeah! This is where yeah. we use a shove action. Alright, so uh, quickly, Sacred Flame onto uh, cool. this one. Oh, uh, actually, no, not that one. This one right next to me because I can see Ragnar will probably finish him off or something. Cool, cool. No problem. Um, so this guy's gonna try to dodge, but of course he's a zombie. Oh, yeah. Nope. Yeah, so he takes 13 points of damage? Yeah. Cool. That's, uh, uh Radiant. Radiant, nice. Blah. <laughs> um, we'll fire you up. And, um, one, two, three. Mm, and these are walls, right? Um, no, that's a pit. Although you can see gas coming from that pit. Damn. Uh, that was right. a great zombie sound. I approve. That's <laughs> <laughs> a good role playing there. Cool. Uh, two arrows for that guy. They seem to plonk into his head, but uh, they match the one from this guy here. But um. They keep Pierce to still be fine. Alright, and that's the end of me. Ragnar, you're up. I will bop him on his head. With? My hammer. Oh, Warhammer, oh, my sweet. Warhammer. Uh, yeah. 16's gonna hit. Okay, 1d8 plus that. 5 damage. 5 damage, beautiful. Uh, you knock the arrows, just smash him in. His head kind of flies back. You can see his head's barely hanging on by the skin of its neck, but, uh, Still seems fine. Yeah. Okay, and then my second attack. Cool. That's a hit. Yeah! Cool. <laughs> With that second one, you actually managed to launch the head right off. It's oh, still man. up. Oh. <laughs> As a bonus action, I'd like to try and shove it then. Five feet. I will. Five feet allows me to do that. I will allow it. You shove away. So yeah, you just shove. Uh, uh, do I have to do the roll still, I presume? Yeah, you have to do a roll still. Yeah, I'm just like, oh, okay. <laughs> uh, uh, does he have I to roll think, against you? No, I think it's, so, it's yeah. a 
it's an attack roll and it's like versus AC. It's not an attack roll, it's as a bonus action. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I know what it is, I'm just gonna roll against his strength. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Usually, Bans. Yeah, usually shoves is a, like a contest. Yeah. I'll look it up real quick. Um. I may be wrong though, so feel free to correct me. Um, yep, first it's athletics or acrobatics. He just floats over the pits. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm doing this, yeah, one by one, but it looks like that, doesn't it? Oh, not the door. <laughs> oh, no. The door starts moving toward us. Well, now we're screwed. <laughs> cool. Um, so uh, they're going to try to attack you there, and that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Twenty plus. Yeah, uh, so attacking you there, Ragnar. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, have me those hit? Two. Two? Sweet. So it's not going to be too bad. 2d6. Uh, you take eight points of damage, and uh, give me a constitution, sa constitution saving throw. Okay, um, that would be... Woot! Uh, you managed to stave off poison for now. Um, however, these guys, as an action, do get to grapple you. Uh, okay. It's gonna put you right there with this guy here. Okay. Whoa. Every time I press shift, my thing is a seizure. <laughs> yeah. Duh. Oop. Oop. And, um, yep. That'll be his turn. Uh, but of course they're also gonna attack Udafar once. Um, it would not be plus six, I would uh, that's actually a miss. And they're going to attack the Steel Cleric twice. Uh, plus three. Miss. One D, one D, one D, one D, six. Uh, you take yeah. one point of damage. Nice. Yes. Um, <laughs> muck, muck. Oh, uh, one point of damage, and you are, of course, grappled with this guy. Uh, muck, muck. Uh, okay. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. W one more thing uh, before I do that. Um, you know us from this pit right here. A guy climbs out. Oh, another um, zombie or another zombie? Oh, yeah. Oh, yep. Sorry, I was just looking at the PDF, so I just didn't see. Uh, muck muck. Hop up. I yell to the steel steel cleric to make them go away, and then uh, I take my short swords out and try to slice up that guy that I can reach there. Uh, those are one hits, but the other misses. I have advantage on the... Oh, cool. So that means that one hits, and that one hits too. Okay. Nice. Um, uh, that is... Oh, you're, you're stabbing, slashing, what are you doing? I'm slashing with the short swords again. Cool, cool. Um, you managed to chop off one of its arms. Hey. Yeah. Still clock you up. Uh, well, by up, I mean you're grappled with a zombie. Uh, alright. Well, I'm gonna... Turn on dead. Hmm. I'm gonna try and cast... <laughs> you, know that spell, you know that spell that makes zombies run away? <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I was gonna be doing that to myself as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, daylight doesn't do anything to them, do they? Uh, does it? Just um, like they're vampires I guess... Or anything. No, they're not vampires. Um, one second here, I just gotta try some... Next turn, we'll have zombies and uh, vampires. Ooh, wow, that's awesome. Um, wait for who? No, <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Good. That's awesome for me, not for you. I know. Uh, do you think I can do Scorching Ray? Uh, Scorching Ray, like, right through these guys? Yeah. Uh, probably. Scorching Ray isn't a line attack, is it? Oh, um, yeah. I'd say so. Uh, but you would require to get to. You're not in a position to do, to attack from here. You can, can only attack from like here. Can he do like that and then cut through them? Yeah, the, like yeah. That? I'd allow that. You'd yeah. be able to attack um, three or four. No, that's I fine. Like, I could, oh, really? Oh, well, the guy he's grappling. Is yeah, I, 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 the guy he's grappling is gonna make it much more difficult for him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, at least those four. Yeah. He's like, 
Yeah. Yeah. I can like place him anywhere. Given the fact that you're being grappled means that they're gonna have um, advantage on the checks. You can place him anywhere, but I thought scorching ray was a target attack, not a line. Is it? Uh, no, scorching uh, ray. Well, then if, if that's the case, line, then it might I'll, be. Um, I'm probably gonna do burning hands then if it's more of a cone. I am going to be checking. Oh no! Screw that! No! No! Screw that! I'm I'm gonna press. Uh, I'm gonna do turn and dead. <laughs> Thank Finally! You. Wow! I'm telling you. Jeez. I was just I was just looking at and this. That is you see the three rays of fire. Yeah. That's so, uh, yeah, it doesn't say line attack. Yeah. Actually, but like rather than turn undead, is destroy undead. So on fail, uh, well, any undead gets destroyed that fails it. Of a certain. It destroys them if their CR is lower yeah. than the, the destroy yeah. thing. It turns them if it's higher than that. Mm -hmm. Uh, what's the CR need to be? These guys are about three probably. Yeah, oh, is it? It's no, then it's, yeah, it's only work. for like really long. No. It yeah, just turns like one. Oh yeah, it's, it's just turn it dead then. Okay, right. unfortunately the master's will is in these guys, so it's keeping them from turning no. easily. So um, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six. With six. The yeah, um, the, master. the master's will is keeping him up. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, two, two of point. them, two of them though. Six, seven. That's three. three? Cool. Yeah. Um, the three of them jump back into the cut. Okay. <laughs> two, two, two. That's that's good. That's good. Yeah. Anything else? Um. Oh. Uh. I can't attack, can I? You can't. That was your. That was your attack. No, yeah, no. so um, can I try and release from my grapple? No, that would be an attack. No, then that's it. Cool, good to fire. Alright, so short sword on this one. Cool. Uh, that's going to hit. And it's oh. going to chop his arm off, then he's going to fall down backwards and not be able to get up. Second attack. Chop him off. Ooh. Yes, nice. Yeah, I'm nice. gonna I'm gonna say that's an instant kill. All right, and then bonus action. My lizard's gonna go into defensive stance. You and your lizard. Whoa, 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 whoa! What's that thing on the on the turn order? Oh, what's that thing? On the, it's what's falling <laughs> behind you. No. Oh, no. no. I knew it. I we can no. close the door. The door. We can close the door. <laughs> no. Not Son this again. Bitch. Okay, uh, sorry to do this, but I, I actually gotta go. Uh, John, I it's I think I trust you enough with my no. character. No, <laughs> it's, it's going to be the worst. Okay, sorry, but yeah, I do have to go. Um, I do is that 21 damage to you there, buddy? Uh, where's uh, the monster? Right there. I, I do not see it. Oh. Is it on the GM layer or something? No, it's, it's no, right in front of you. I can see it. Oh, well, it's, it's just me then. Yeah, 21 yeah, we'll to me. I'm gonna use my reaction to half that. Cool. 10. Okay, uh, Ragnar. You're gone. Um, yeah, what do you think he would do, guys? He would attack uh, that thing. He would attack <laughs> the no, thing. He, he can't attack it. Can he shove it? Uh, Doesn't he, he have. Does he have, like, holy stuff? Oh, yeah, he, he could turn on dead, but that didn't work so well. If I were oh, him, I would yeah. just shove that thing back down the pit. Yeah, he probably would shove it down the pit. He can't shove something that's grappling him. Great. Okay. Then I try to escape from the grapple then? Sure. Mm. Okay, uh, looks like he escaped. Um, probably gonna attack. The hit. Uh, it's gonna take one of these guys down. Or it's gonna really smack and hurt them good. Um, let's see, let's roll 1 6. Ooh, that's bad for you guys. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. As they, uh, as they get back up. Uh, boom, 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 uh, boom, boom, boom. 
Hit, um, Steel Cleric, this one is going to move you against your will uh, into the pit with him. Great. Uh, can I can I use one of my flares as a reaction? Or um, not for a move. Okay, now this has multiple effects that I'm sure you guys are aware of. One, your light's gone. Um, so all those people who don't have low life vision are going to have trouble. Which is none of us, I think. Yeah. Uh, then those who in dim light vision are going to have minus two to your attacks from now on. Yep. Dim light vision? Yeah, or rather yeah. those with dark light, dark light vision are going to have minus two to your attacks. Okay. Um, so you fall, um, you're going to take some damage. Uh, you take 20 points of damage. Um, actually, get rid of that last day. You only take um, 12 points as you you land on some soft bodies. So that's good, right? No. <laughs> no. Uh, meanwhile, Ragnar's being attacked by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's plus 7. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4 hits. Oh, I thought he has like 20 something AC. Um, he has 19 AC. Oh. Yeah, so only two hit, right? Um, uh, no, 21, uh, 18, 20, 25. Why 18? Yeah, but. Oh, 18. Eight. Oh, that's silly me. It's only three hits. 25, 20. And wait, wait. Uh, no, it's plus six. It should be plus seven. Um, because okay. there's six guys around and they get a natural plus one. Um, so it actually was. Yeah, so it's 13 damage. Uh,. Minus 15, he's not looking good. And of course, that means they also grapple him. Um, yeah. Cool. In addition, they're going to attack our good friends. Um, what is your name there? Rudifier. One, two, three, four. Uh, one less healing. Yeah, one little sitting. Cool. Uh, give me a Constitution saving throw. Uh, this I'm good. This is gonna be true for him too. Uh, yeah, but he's fine. Ooh, uh, you are poisoned. Uh, I mean, you have disadvantage on attacks. Okay. <laughs> um. Besides that, I think it's Muckmuck's turn. Who's being harassed by some sort of giant squid monster? Would Kobolds have the halfling nimbleness thing or no? Um, no? Sarn. <laughs> oh, I'm kinda stuck here, aren't I? Yeah. This may be when you guys die. <laughs> yep, probably. <laughs> it's looking kinda that way right now. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, now I feel bad. Too bad for not being there to help you guys. <laughs> yeah, a gigantic exactly. creature probably would've helped. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I will just slice at this tentacle monster then. Cool. Uh, you know where some of its organs are, so I'll allow you to use your stuff. Ooh. Um, like but that. but you don't have you don't have sneak attack opportunity. Yeah, no, those are both my attacks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, twenty four uh, twenty four is gonna hit. Oh. Yeah. Cool. You just stab into its beak. It just seems to chomp down on your hand. It doesn't care. Uh, Steel Cleric, um, you're being ravaged by hands. Give me a con save. Oh, oh, actually, I'm pretty good with that. All right. Well, just hopefully amazing. you're really good, or else it's 4d12. Mm -hmm. <laughs> amazing. Yeah. All right. Just dash all that. DC's about 15. Ooh, beautiful. So it's only half of 40, 12. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, which is only 7 points of damage. Uh, if you're not aware, you are, you are right here. I'll just reveal that area a little bit so you can see it. <coughs> With a fire, you're up. Oh, um, and remember you guys, guys have a minus 2 to your attacks because it's so dark. Is that is that all I get? Uh, what seven points damage? Yeah, no, just, just a con save. 
Yeah, just just a con save. Oh, sorry. Um, this is to keep from yourself being ripped apart by uh, by zombie arms. So it was okay. con to keep your body together. And you can't do anything oh, else. Oh, um, I'm sorry. Was that your turn? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Go ahead. It's your turn. I. Right, what, what do you want to do? Um, uh, is is my light still on? Ah, uh, yes. You can see tons of bodies down here, all clamoring at you. Uh, how far is the whole, uh... 40 the, like, feet up. The ledge? 40 feet. Dang oh it. my god. 30. No, it's 40, uh, um, but he didn't, take, he didn't take the last 10 damage because of the corpses that were softening with well. Okay, well, uh, I'm gonna try and, uh, do this thing. Hold on, give me a second here. Uh... Right, I want to try and cast Fireball. On yourself? Well, no. <laughs> oh, yeah, like up the up the tunnel and then make it explode at the top? <laughs> um... If... Uh, maybe, you know, I just lost myself here. Well, no, I was going to try and cast it, like, in the pit, but, like, away from me. Oh, um, um, okay. I mean, you can, try to, you can try to do it underneath you, but... No, you should shoot it up, and then explode everything at the top. Yeah, I guess that would be a better, better option. <laughs> Is it okay? I yeah, don't know. I think you would go straight like, up. Like yeah. here, have the f have the fireball sort of emanate from the top here. Okay. And it just goes. Um, sure. Oh Is yeah. That Is that what? Is that anything else you want to do? Mm. Before you die. I don't know, there's nothing else. I, I got no rope. There's no way I can climb up. Well, the zombies could climb up. The walls do seem quite rough. Although there's a fireball at the top. Well, doesn't it hit some of them? Well, yeah, but I don't even know what a fireball does. You have to define fireball. Sorry, um, right, so with the, with the fireball. Let me. I'll look it up. 20 foot radius. Oh. Cool. And then they take 8d6 damage if they fail a deck save. There you go. It's much more than that. Is it how many 3d6 in it? It was like 8d6. 8d6 then. What did I say? Ooh, that's everyone, isn't it? Except for yeah. the. It would be. It's a 20 foot radius from you yeah, from down there. Which means everyone except for the goo monster. Aww. Um, so how much damage? Oh, that's the 8d6, yeah. 8d6. Yep. So I'm good. I take zero damage. Oh, wow, these guys are great. Oh, my goodness. There we go. What the hell are these zombies? Yeah. <laughs> uh, do um, roll for damage? Yeah, roll for damage, man. 8d6. Oh, I did. Oh. oh. 26 damage. Oh, got covered. 26. 26. So that's burn, 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 burn. burn. Hey, that helps burn, a lot. Burn, burn, and burn. And that's. <laughs> let me just do this guy here. So let's roll 1d, 1d, <laughs> one minus 1. 17. Yeah, he's fine. Uh, so half damage is how much? 13. 13? 13. Okay, cool. Uh, Ragnar takes 13 damage. Cool. And then so, you use uh, burning hands to propel yourself up like a rocket. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. Why didn't you do that from the start? <laughs> well, no, I, I was. I didn't know how big the radius was. It was like, I thought it was only like a twenty foot. Uh, yeah, it was twenty foot. <laughs> exactly. Twenty foot diameter. <laughs> Stupid. All right. <laughs> okay. Um, who the fire you're up? Ragnar has the rope, correct? I have rope too, if you can grab it for me, because I'm facing the monster and it's on my back. Alright, so I will snag your rope. Cool, done. Uh, come over here and lower it. It's poisoned, but sure. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I'm not attacking. Oh, well, it's uh, concrete and poison? No, you walk through this, this poisonous part. Um. Can't you move your animal as a free action? Doesn't it have its I own can. movement? Uh. It does, but. 
That wouldn't really do anything. Yeah, because you were you were standing right behind me, right? Then you can just move it. Because like if you just move your animal over here, and then you can just go like that. I can go through my animal. Uh, oh. <laughs> yeah, you could go through allies. But yeah, at the end of the day, I'm still taking poison damage. No, because so, yeah. you didn't touch a wall. Oh yeah, the wall, the wall. I forget the pits. The pits don't secrete it out uh, surrounding yeah. areas? No, no they don't. Okay, my bad. I thought they did. So yeah, I would just walk through, pass them, and lower the rope down. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> yeah, there we go. And my pet would go, yeah, right here and take a defensive stance. Cool. Alright. And that's the end of my turn as I'm lowering down the rope. Cool. Be gentle. Um, grapple check. Uh uh. I don't like that. You know, I contemplated taking acrobatics as an expertise. Oh, jeez. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, he's dragging you back. It's gonna uh, be one, two, three, four, five. Uh, you take ten damage from poison, and you have now disadvantage. Oh, and, um,. Yeah, you're you're staying in that space too. Um, oh. So give me a con save. Cool. Uh, so you're poisoned, which means you have disadvantage on ability checks as well as uh, attacks. Ability checks too. Yeah. <laughs> which includes things like grapple, um, <laughs> and it is dragging you back. Uh, yeah. Good times. Um, yeah, did you apply 10 damage to yourself? Yep. Cool. Uh, Ragnar, you're up. Uh, Ragnar is going to... Um, he's going to try to kill all the guys in here. He's just going to do a spell. Whatever, whatever. Um, <laughs> he'll, 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 just, he'll just use destroy and dead, turn on dead, I don't really care anymore. <laughs> if he's not... Uh, point is, this thing's now clear. Yeah. Um, zombie's turn. Ooh, uh, rip and tear. I thought they did it on his turn. Um, no, they do it on their turn too. Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah. Uh, so give me a Constitution savings for the cleric. We're all higher than twelve. Uh -huh. I believe in you. Yeah. Nice. Oh. So half of four d twelve is. 12 damage. Oh, now, that's not bad. Now, um, meanwhile, um, people are climbing up the rope. The question is, how many? <laughs> Sweet. So there are five creatures climbing up the rope. There's no way in the world I would be able to hold five people. Um, then please give me a strength check. <laughs> Why'd you lose my rope? You said anything. <laughs> you yeah, had to say to... something. Cool. Oh, well, you can surprisingly hold five of these guys. Shake them off. <laughs> it's super impressive as they climb up and start tackling you. Uh, 1D, 1D, plus 6. And so the first guy, second guy, third guy, fourth guy, fifth guy. Um, two of those Cool. Uh, so that's 2D6. Take nine points of damage. And uh, the one of them's actually a pair of them are grappling, yeah. So, boom. Well, every time I press Alt, I swear, no matter what system I'm on, when you press Alt, it screws up. Um, yeah, good times. Muck, muck, you're up. <laughs> um, oh, uh, uh, you're poisoned again. Uh, another 10 damage. Alright, if I don't get out of here, I'm dead. So, let's get out of here, right? Sure. With disadvantage. Mm -hmm. Oh, well. <laughs> he, literally, he literally can't go that well. Can I... <laughs> uh, you don't have any RP, do you? <laughs> do I... Steel Cleric. Wait, can I use my bonus action to hide within his grasp? <laughs> no. 
Uh, Steel Cleric, um, your turn again. Um, Constitution saving throw. Nice. So half of 40, 12. Which is... 9? 9. Have you been applying this? I don't know what health you're at. I'm, I'm like pretty low right now. What, uh, is, what is your HP? Shoot, I'm at 66, I got it. I, I can't even click on my character. Oh, that's weird. How about so, now? I haven't been able to apply. Hmm. At 65. Um, yeah, it was 7, 12, 9. Oh, okay. uh, plus the falling damage. Right. Yep. Yeah. Um, what do you want to do, buddy? It's your turn. Okay, it's your, well, it's okay. your day. Uh, climb. Um, yeah, I'm gonna climb. Um, that's my, that's sure, my that's, that sounds great. Um, give me another con save, but because you're being attacked by guys, you're gonna have disadvantage. Uh, with the fire. Or the strength. Give me a strength save throw. Um, oh. Wait, who's 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 doing the strength saving throw? Udofar, and he uh, it looks like he dropped the rope. You? Uh, no, he he is lucky. No, he had disadvantage. Oh, okay. So the rope is now dropped. Steel, steel cleric, you wanted rope, and you now have all the rope. <laughs> so grass. Um, oh man. No. <laughs> um, Udafar, your turn. Damn. Okay. So. Oh, uh, that would say a steel cleric. Did you want to do anything else? That was, you, you still have an attack. Yeah. So. Uh, let's do it. I'm gonna. I'm turn gonna. It. <laughs> give me another fireball. Where? In, in the. Uh, can I try and do it? In the middle of the, uh, the thing, it's a, so it's a twenty foot thing. It's twenty foot ball. There's no way you'd be able to cast it where you won't be hit. No, like can I? Yeah, but can I cast it like in the middle of the like the, that hole? So up top gets hurt as well as the bottom. Um, I'm not sure. You're, you're saying you want blast it up here, or do you want blast it where you are? Like. Uh, you know how like that. Oh, yeah, that the, the, the fire would be quite thick. It'll probably burn through and hit everyone inside there. It's uh, 40 feet up. Yeah. And the range is 20 feet. So I don't think we can do that. Okay, well, uh, uh, screw it. I'm gonna cast it uh, just above me. So oh. any of the zombies uh, below me can get, can get burned. Okay, cool. So you cast. Okay, um, give me. It's uh, 8d6. Yeah, 8d6. Oh, oh, yeah. And I, I can't imagine that not doing a tremendous amount of damage. Uh, so give so, yourself a check too, don't forget. Six more. Cool. So, uh, 9 plus, or 14 plus 9. 23. Um, so that's... Whole area down there is clear to zombies, they're nothing but dust, but you also take, uh, you should roll, but you don't, you'll, you'll probably take about 20 some damage. Yeah. I'm most likely like, I don't believe in you, yeah. you can save. I do not believe in you. Look at that. Oh, come on. Oh, you did it. I duck. Yeah, so save. Oh, just save me. Yeah. Um, Udafar, you're up. Uh, you're being grappled. Yeah, I did. Is it far? Mm. It disconnected. Uh. Hey, she's back. She's back. And that's the last okay. time I trust the color. Oh, hey, bro. Okay. So. I uh, you're so grappled so and grappled. also surrounded. So my familiar is going to start attacking. Nice. This one uh, hits. That's gonna hit, and what kind, what kind of. He's using. I guess he's using teeth. Um, he chomps down, starts trying to rip and tear. It doesn't do much, though. I'm gonna try it again. Oh. No, uh, that time he actually manages to rip one of their arms off. 
lovely and I guess Yep. I can't do anything, so let's see my turn. Cool. Um this guy is going to do some attacks on you. Uh, nice. 120 plus 8. He's gonna do that twice because he has advantage. 22 gonna hit. Gonna do 2d12 damage for 7. I mean you're still That's technically alive. I'm halving that. So You're halfing what? Oh, damage. cool, cool. As he drags you back, and I know you can't see it, but this area you, you end up in is poison too. Uh, I have yeah. two health left. <laughs> okay, uh, well, on your turn, you're going to lose Wait, ten. Can't I hold my breath? Um, You can try, but every attack is going to make you breathe every time you get the damaged. After he just hit me, can I? Well, just okay, I'm. Her? Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll allow it. All right. But that means when he hits you on his turn. Yeah. Yeah. Um, looks like Ragnar's turn. In which case, he's probably come over here, try bashing one of them. Uh, bash, bash. Um, he trips and falls. <laughs> oh. I'm wacky. Wait, he does manage to hit one of them. Or, uh, 1d8 plus 6. For a total of 11 damage, manages to axe that one. Uh, meanwhile, um, this one here is going to take the opportunity to move while grabbing Lutifier. Um, now that's, that's 48 damage you're taking? Yep. Um, this is pretty tight. Um, roll 1d4 and hope you don't get a 1. <laughs> okay. Uh, I kinda lucky like that. Uh, um, yeah, I'll, I'll already lucky it. Watch me be roll another 1. Oh, nah, wow. you're fine. Oh. Uh, so instead of hitting the Steel Cleric, you just land on your neck. Yay. <laughs> Oop. Uh, you take 11 points of damage. Wow. And land. That's on your could. back. That was really light. Yep, uh, but you, you fall in here with a zombie, and then the rest of the zombies pile in and try to get you too. Uh, Ragnar trying to attack. Did they take falling damage? Um, they're going to land on you, so. And no. They take. No? Uh, 1d8, 1d6. No, he, he, he just kills one straight out. Uh, Ragnar kills one of the guys with the attack of opportunity. These two try to land on you guys. Um, I'm gonna flip a coin. Uh, let's see who they with to try to land on, and it is still fair. Yeah, I mean, uh... as a reaction, can I put my like arms up with the spikes and stuff? Sure, why not? Not really gonna help, but um, they're gonna you take gonna take half their fall damage. Okay. Uh, they're gonna take sixteen, bash their own heads in. I don't even know how uh, like how bad I am at the moment, Evan. I, I imagine you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, this has been pretty brutal. Oh um, I forgot um, if you guys remember, it is poison down here. Oh, um, no. Yep. Nobody told me. Yeah, yeah, I said multiple times it's poisonous hey. in the pet and you can see it lingering the, down there. Did the fire burn out the way, maybe? <laughs> um, actually, the fire would have had trouble actually getting a flame because the poison is not flammable. It would actually, it's actually Too the opposite of flammable. That. No, no, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that the poison is still remaining and um, in addition to taking 10 damage when you entered there um, with a fire, you're, I guess, again, poisoned, so... You're gonna take another 10 damage on your turn. Um, yeah. You know. Muck Muck, you're up. Uh, 10 poison damage. I'm dead. Okay. Um, just two. Oh, wait, 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 I have two, I have two health. Oh, you have two health? <laughs> two okay. health. I was, about to, I was about to do this. I got two health. Are you ready? Uh, this I'm ready, yeah. I, I saved the day. You say that? Come on, come on. Come on. Oh, you need me to. You don't want me to beat a 14, like, easily? Yes. 
Oh. I love I love hearing you cry, Mark Mark. You sick. <laughs> <laughs> you um, I so do. yeah, you keep coughing up poison, uh, Steel Cleric. Uh, um, right, uh, I'm gonna, what is this? Got some healing, another mass heal. Yeah, can I get mass healing word out? Uh, do sure. I even reach you if I do that? No, you won't reach me, but you'll get Udafire as well. You'll only oh. get you and Udafire. I just might see that. Probably. So you'll probably die I, anyway. But if I mass healing word, I can I can heal I can quote unquote heal these zombies to dead to death. <laughs> right? Uh, I'll allow it. Does that work? Yeah, I'll allow it. Okay, how many zombies have we got here? Uh three. Okay, so Udo Fire and I um, no. get uh, plus two. Cool. Um, so if that's happened. Do you want to just let Muck Muck go and stop initiative, or do you want to try to get out of this poison pit now? Um, right. Uh, yes, please. Um, can I can I get Udo Fire to th uh, tie the hit the rope? Up on, on on his arrow, uh, you know, shoot it yeah. and uh, uh, you get guys, right not to catch it. You guys are, are, are you guys could be have essentially the same turn, so mm -hmm. you guys can act in the same turn if you like. Um, yeah, so give him the rope, throw it up. Ragnar can catch it and pull us up. Yeah, so I will just do exactly that. So attack roll or? Um, yeah, just be the ten. You're fine. Come on. Yeah, you're fine. Nice. Uh, you take you take a shot. You hear a, I got it on the upper side. Uh, meanwhile, you take ten damage there. Uh, yeah. Actually, roll again because remember you're poisoned. Uh, uh, once again, you have you have a small chance of failure. Seven. Yeah, Seven. you're fine. Uh, but he gets it and he starts pulling you guys up. Uh, he's super strong, so he's able to do it very easily. Uh, no. You guys, uh, that would be your turn, Rabbi. Here, Ragnar would have used his turn to do his thing. Um, this guy's going to continue to attack you. 16's gonna hit, dealing 2d12. Uh, 16 points of damage. Nope, I'm at zero. Mm. Fantastic. Great. And they were just. Um. Suddenly, being an iron climber isn't so easy, is it? <laughs> it's never easy. <laughs> okay, uh, what do you got? What do you, uh, Ragnar used his turn to help you guys up. Uh, zombies no longer exist. Uh, muck Muck. I'm dead, so I have uh, to make I'm roll. aware. Still clear. Okay, so. Um, both, uh, wake up or. Yeah. Oh, uh, not, while uh, not while you're poisoned and being attacked. Yeah, so. Uh, I say, does anyone know where you went? <laughs> no. Uh, I just kind of point over there. I saw him fighting one of those green things. I run. I run one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, six, seven, five, four, five. With the fire. Oh, remember, you can you can do double movement, yeah. Yeah. It's gone. One, two, three, four, five, six. Excuse my dash action. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sorry, I forgot I got two more. Uh, what else? Seven, seven. And then this thing is going to catch up to me. Bonus action, two dash to catch up. Yeah, uh, still clear. You're up. Yeah, okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, six. Oh, uh, uh, um, that's six. that's poison. This poisonous, by the way. There. Uh, I assume he can hold his breath since it's no combat. Yeah, you can hold his breath if you like, I suppose. I'll allow it uh, for now. What can I see? You can hold uh, your breath you... for one minute plus con One, two, three. Mm 
You see that? Oh, not another one. <laughs> um. Okay, I see the, the thing of tentacles, um, and I cast the. Uh, oh, screw it, scorching ray. Cool. Uh, what at the balls? Uh, at least one hit. One hits. Um, Did one hit? Thirteen. I don't think a thirteen hits. No. Not these guys. I these guys are zombies. Also, dim light minus two. So that would have been eleven. Yeah, yeah. Eleven then doesn't no. hit. Then no. No. The fire seems uh, weighted out by the darkness. No, I got nothing. Who the fire? Do something. Uh, you take 10 damage to the poison. Actually, no, you're right. You're, you can hold your breath, you're fine. Alright, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Dodge stance for my companion. And then 2 long bulls with stance advantage. Cool. So, first one hits for 6 damage. The second nice. one. Hits for eight damage. Ooh. What happened there? Huh? Oh, it looked like you attacked four times. Uh, yeah. disadvantage for both of them. This still poison. That's right. Uh, good job, though. So, how much damage is that? Uh, six plus eight, fourteen. Fourteen, nice. That's what I'm talking about. No. Ooh, this is what you can see. Oh god, this. Uh, where's Those me? Aren't <laughs> Thank oh, you. I'm in the pit. I'm in the pit. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Um. So it looks like it is now these guys' turn. One, oh, two. Dead. Oh, yep. They got to for sure. One, <laughs> two, three, four. So this. So you guys are gonna die. Not the hands of the master, but some crazy tentacle monsters. Is that. Is that what I'm to understand? Pretty much. <sighs> Seems like it. One. This is against um. You there, though. This is against your pet. Miss. Sweet. Uh, Ragnar up. Uh, Ragnar is going to go one, two, three, four, five. One of these are five. Cool. Uh, Steel Clerk. Um, okay. Uh, since Ragnar's over there, I'm gonna come over here. Uh, and. Uh, I still got my. Burning hands still up. You got burning hands, your friends? No. Well, obviously the cone facing the, this way. Cool. Uh, so he's gonna try to dodge, and he can do so quite well. He's dexterous. Did you fail? Yeah. Fail, and he's taking twelve damage. Cool. Cool. Uh, that means it is Udo Fire's turn. <laughs> Slice and dice and miss. That's and a miss. Then my is going to go disengage. One, two. Uh, would it be able to go the other side? One, two, three, four, five. Nope. So we yeah. have one, two, three. All right. That's the end of my turn. Cool. Um. Cool. Uh, this one's coming at Ragnar. Uh, this one's Missed. coming at you there, guy. 26, I, the guy, of course, would be... Ooh, what do you mean? 2d12. 16 damage to you, Ufar. Uh, 3 health left. Oh, <laughs> uh, Steel Cleric? What, well, how much health do you have, Steel Cleric? Um, oh, I had 66, but I've been trying to minus all the ones that okay. I've had so far. Um, I guys gonna try down to like 32. I guys gonna try to grapple you. I doubt it though. But grapple, yeah. yeah. Uh, you want to give me a check to try to see if you can beat 28? Yeah, sure. That's just that's a strength, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, or Dex. Oh, good. <laughs> um. Okay, I tried. Oh, are you serious? Um, can I? I want to roll uh, an RP die. Feel free. Oh, it was no, literally couldn't possibly help. No, it's not gonna work. <laughs> well, then I screw that. Screw that. Then screw it. Wait, can't you use a flare? 
Not against a grapple. Isn't it an attack roll? No. It's an attack action. That doesn't mean it's attack roll. Okay. Okay. Yeah, um, so while you're down there and grappled, um, you can clearly see that there is another one down there with you. That's it, we're dead. As well <laughs> as another one down there with you. That's it, we're dead. <laughs> In addition, uh, lying at the bottom of that pit, you can find your unconscious friend. This is just a dream. <laughs> nope, this is happening, guys. <laughs> this is canon. I'm not the one who didn't run away when this started happening. Yeah. Mm, completely right about that, and I am sorry, guys, but it's <laughs> out. Okay, mm -hmm. um... Not even joking. Yeah, don't worry, you can't escape, there's too much poison. Ragnar's up. Uh, Ragnar's going to attack this thing, he's going to try to make a believer out of everybody. 24, wow. And 23, wow. 28 plus... 6. Adam is going to come back and be like, what happened? We died. Yep, game over. Does he kill it? Um, no, of course not. All These right, things are huge. I'm sorry. Uh, Steel clerk's up. You're being ravaged by hands, uh, by well, tentacles. How is he still alive after all that? My constitution is very high. It's <laughs> uh, gotta be some like cleric spin, spin, though. That's like, you know, I know right? God save us all. There is none. <laughs> yeah, guess what? In this realm, there is none. <laughs> there is no god. Um, well, why don't we fight here? There. Mm, hold on, let me there, train. There is no sky, there is no sun. There is nothing but of things that come that screech and rile and howl insane. Uh, and give to you the kiss of pain. No uh, divine intervention there. Chaos reigns and mercy weeps and nightmares aren't just in your sleep. Uh, so we aren't asleep. <laughs> nope. Yep, well. You are not asleep. Final... Final spell. Oh, I'm gonna cast another fast fireball. <laughs> and kill. Make sure you and your friend down there turn to dust. I'm sure. Yeah, it's yep. either that or get tentacle ripped to death. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> isn't it? You're, you're, you're basically just blowing yourself up down there. Honorable cult. Suicide bomb. Uh, Reminds me of Chowser from Dragon Ball Z. It does <laughs> nothing. Yeah, no. I really dodge know. this kind of fire. I, I love that Big that happened. Attack. Yeah, I'll allow I'll allow 100% damage if you accept 100% damage. Because there are how, there's three of them. No, I said like what was the uh, damage like? No, oh, uh, 48. Oh, 86. 86. 86. 86. Yeah, 86. Crap. Uh, 86. Mm. And then... Okay. <laughs> you have one health, if, if, if I try and dodge this one. I'm gonna say goodbye, Tien. <laughs> goodbye, Tien. Terrible. Goodbye, Tien. Um, cool. Um... <laughs> yes! I could have sworn you weren't gonna save. That's funny. Uh, Udo Fire, you're up. Oh my god. You just see a roar of f plume of flame shoot out of here. Yeah, this is going good, so, um... Wait, did I save or not? Oh yeah, you're, you're fine. But you only oh, take, you take, you take half damage though. I am... <laughs> but the monsters <laughs> aren't dead. <laughs> no, they're not. They actually oh, yeah, seem, yeah. they seem more ticked off than anything. All right, so I'm going to not even disengage, but run. Oh, okay. So, the attack. Ooh, wow, oh, lucky. God, um, you, st breath. you stepped in the poison. You uh... holding my breath. Holding my breath. That's oh, right. okay. Well, then you go. Ha you go half speed if you're holding your breath. Five. You land in the poison, don't you? Six. <laughs> yeah. I think I do. Sweet. Mm, after if I hold my breath. Um. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Wait, damn what do you it. mean you land in the poison? 
I'm gonna have to end point. He goes. He's gonna go half his speed if he's. You can hold your. Breath. You can hold your breath for one minute plus your con mod. But it's gonna hurt your speed. Right. Oh yeah, and then we'll just catch up and ravage you. Huh? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, Unless you sacrifice your pet. <laughs> yeah, that's what's gonna happen. It's, it is, Wait, this is. Well, no, yeah. I'll hold my breath for the turn. Three, four, five, six, seven, one. Yeah. Leave your pet behind. That's exactly what I'm doing. Alright, so I'm in my turn. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see if your pet realizes this and how it feels about it. Uh, you want this to be a high roll. Okay, it knows what you're doing and it is not a fan. I told it to follow. <laughs> follow <laughs> yeah, slowly. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Um, so Ragnar doesn't like betrayers, he's gonna throw an axe. Yeah. <laughs> While he's prone, because he has a red thing. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Uh, looks like this thing goes down. There. Oh, now he kills it. <laughs> of course, he's Ragnar. Um, no. Oh, I'm sorry. I skipped these guys' turn, didn't I? Um, oh, you did. Yeah, I did. Uh, this thing's gonna go over here. Uh, first one's going to attack Udafar. It's going to hit exactly, and not Udafar. I'm sorry. It's going to hit Ragnar. Two D twelve, and I believe that's going to do nothing. Wow. Oh, thank like God. That's a perfect number. Um, then he kills them. Uh, one's going for your pet. Miss. Well, uh, does Twenty no. points of damage. Oh no, it missed. Yeah, fourteen it missed. missed. Yep. Uh, it's supposed to be a plus nine, so. Dead. <laughs> When did it get to a plus nine? It's been no, a I'm, I'm messing with you. Oh, <laughs> okay. 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 around like that. <laughs> okay, uh, meanwhile, down the basement. One, two, three. That's 68 damage. Oh, I'm no. So, I'm I sorry. Get the 26 only hits me. Why is that? What do you mean? 12 and 15? No, uh, 26, 22, and 21. Wait, what? They, they have advantage, you're grappled. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. Okay, great. You take 37 points of damage. Oh, amazing, and I'm dead. Cool. Um, so you see them start to rip apart your body. Uh, they first take your arm off, and then the one grabs your head. Uh, the third one grasps at your little container holding your soul, starts to squeeze tight, and you just see the glass explodes. There we go. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, Ragnar. Uh, he's probably going to attack this thing here. Ooh, that's a shame. Oh. Uh, falls into the hole. Oh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> um. Yeah. Fall Although he in. does manage to hit. 1D... No, he, he he's completely grappled the minute he lands. Uh, but 7 points of damage against this guy. Uh, Steel Cleric's gun... Uh, what the fire? What do you want to do? Alright, so first my pet is going to... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... No, it's going to have to take the opportunity attack if it wants to live, so... Opportunity attack. Cool. Um, one second. 1 under 15. Mm -hmm. The attack is eight. So. Oh, okay, so two, three, four, five, six, seven, nah, oh. nah, no, no. <laughs> <And> that <laughs> into the puppet. I'm going to do the same exact thing. Two, three. Don't even need to dash and swim with this crap. Sweet. <laughs> uh, Master's going to take his turn. He's just gonna fireball you the heck. He's actually just gonna magic missile you, max level. Oh my god. Uh, so what's. Yeah, you don't need half to roll, I have three health, I'm dead. You have three health? Okay. Um, <laughs> so it's, it's, like a, it's like one of those cop movies where, like, the bullets is like, ah, oh, ah. Oh. <laughs> 
Like Boromir. Exactly. Yes, Excellent. like Boromir. Thank you. Boromir, so Lord of the Rings. Nine magic missile at him. Um, not max level, max level for what he can do, which is oh. level 5. Um, and you, you, as you're still barely conscious, you can hear the screams of Ragnar as he's being torn from them from them. <laughs> Ooh. I think I'm a bad luck token. You're not great. <laughs> so this is how this game ended. Oh, nice one. Glad you could join us there, Fabio. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here for you guys. I no problem. It was, it was worth it, right? Oh, right. you shouldn't have come to save me. And so this is the end of the heroes of the Champions Guild. Yep. Died in another plane, their souls ripped apart by monsters. They will have no chance of reincarnation, no chance of redemption. I was already reincarnated twice, and I died twice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but those the other two just died in pneumonia. Yeah. What an ending! Yeah. However, uh, in those cases where you were reincarnated, um, your souls weren't ripped apart by fiends. No. Yeah. Okay. Well, there um, you go. And so now this, the, the world's plunged into this, darkness, and uh, this has been um, the Fall Crest journey. Thank you all for joining us. <laughs> um, we will not see you the next Dungeon Time or the next Dragon Channel. Oh man. End Great. communication. <laughs>